Hello, can you Hello. hear us, but someone not Matt? Yeah, Matt's still no. screaming into Wonderful. the void, but we can uh, we can make fun of him for on all of your behalf. I'm sorry, you can make fun of me how? I can do oh, however I please. All right, that should be working. All right. See, I put so much effort <laughs> wow. into making sure that everything Juliet. else. Brutal. Shots fired. As long as you can hear anyway. me. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, Matt, what, what, what was that intro line again? Welcome to Tabletop Obscura presents Gatewalkers. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Walking, etc. All that other fun stuff. And other such things. Other such it's things. bad when it's just one, but please don't do it again. <laughs> Matt doesn't need to speak. He just beams fort forms directly into our mind. Well, that's true. well, that's true. Okay. Yeah, I've I've Absolutely heard that. Terraforming. Mm -hmm. Do better. Terrifying. Considering what the pre campaign was. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now we can't talk about that. I mean, you're allowed to talk about it if you want. It was the best thing we've ever done. I I yeah. feel like I breathed. It'll new... never be beaten. <laughs> I breathed new life into troubles under Atari. Sorry, menace under Atari. You did. And now the real question is, can you live up to that? <laughs> well, no, no pressure. Unlike previous, maybe a little, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Uh, unlike previous um times that I've run published adventures, I'm not going to be attempting to stick close to the to the books. If I don't like something, and I don't think it fits the table, I'm just gonna fucking change it. <laughs> That's it. That's the map we know we now. So, if you like what you see here, then I do recommend getting the Gatewalker books. It is a good adventure path of what I've read. But, if the playthrough that we do here uh, differs from what you read, yeah, that that's that's gonna happen. <laughs> The, the, and there's also, no if you may start or running can, that game, <laughs> it's it's guaranteed. Yeah, probably. I, I I see these people in this party. I know them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say, Bill? If uh if you start running the game from the book and then halfway through the first book it doesn't look like it's it's matching up with what's written down, that's fine. Roll with it. Like, yeah. That's, you may that's have done it wrong. Don't feel bad. You haven't done it wrong. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, you probably have yeah. though. <laughs> but you know, if you open right it up ways. and it starts talking about circuses and such, it's probably the wrong AP, but continue forth. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Yeah. I'm just saying, Extinction Curse would have been better if they just had increasingly evil circuses. We tried to work that out. It's circuses the whole way down. We did work it out, and it was fine. <gasps> yeah, guaranteed gate it's going to happen. Yeah. We're going to become gate cops. You're not going to be gay cops. Oh God, cops. Please don't turn us into cops. You're not going to be gay cops. Again. I've already looked it up. You're not going to become gay cops. It's fine. Aww. I also don't accept the term guardian, warden, <laughs> guard. Champion. So the real question is, if we can't become gate cops, can we become gay cops? I think that, that uh, works. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I think my are, character might be that way inclined. Are we policing the gays or are we gay <laughs> <That's>, policing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. No, no, that's fair. That, ooh, yeah, no. Uh, we're, we're gay police. Okay. The little pause in between. Or, you know, you could be the, uh... <laughs> This happens every single time because I've got the party name down as the Dicelings. Mm. Yeah, subject to change. Uh, of course. Of course. I. Yeah. Look, if uh, if someone can suggest something amazing from chat, uh, I'll give you a thousand channel points. You can do. No, that. that's what. That's what the. Yeah, sort of. Points are I can. Uh, if they're willing to come online and do weird polls with me while the stream isn't live. <laughs> <laughs> so shenanigans is like, what I'm hearing 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, some weird code shenanigans. I've got like uh, 160,000 channel points. i got to spend them somehow, right? And if giving them out to chat isn't something, then what else? Ah, uh, so you uh, do the gamba thing. Yeah, Speaking gamble of, um, and... Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Speaking of channel points and hero points, etc. Are we starting with hero points? You will be. You will have one each. So one each? Perfect. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, otherwise... <laughs> I mean, this is a premiere for a new campaign, so... A couple of things. <laughs> um... The Gatewalker's Adventure Path does deal with supernatural elements that can be considered somewhat spooky and creepy for some people. Uh, this stream is tagged as mature for a reason. Uh, you have been warned. Uh, for the most part, though, I'm trying my best to keep it M-rated. So, hmm. nothing terrible, nothing truly bad, but... Like I said, it does deal with supernatural elements that can be uncomfortable for some people. Particularly regarding uh, memory and missing time, that kind of thing. Because the premise for the adventure is, the, well, a bunch of people did actually lose their memories, so... Um... Is then aliens what did it? Hydrate. They're definitely aliens. I'm not saying it's aliens, but... Well, I mean, the Ayodara pretty much require it to be aliens, right? I have never seen Chibi D10 before, and I love him. He's <laughs> <laughs> pretty great, right? Uh, yeah, thank you, Juliet. Uh, usually I'm the one who has to help get Chibi out of his uh, jail. Um, look, I have to make sure that I have channel rewards that are fun, but also don't majorly disrupt the game. <laughs> Because I have I'm sorry. Seen... I'll try not to be adorable, blindsided. Oh no! Him. That is what this first fifteen minutes is for. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I have seen some streams that are like, "Yeah, pay a hundred bits, do a like campaign interruption," and it's like, "I'm sorry, what?" Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. And then a um... dragon appears, and it's like, "Whoa, <laughs> okay." Oh. Cool. Yeah, I've, I've tried to watch a few of those, especially with more obscure systems, and yeah, then mm -hmm. like I'm trying to learn and like get kind of invested in the story, and then that drops, and I'm like, mm, okay, I'm not watching this anymore. Yeah. Um, I've seen it done successfully for like charity games and stuff like that, but once again, yeah, that's a absolutely charity one shot, shot charity games. Beautiful. That is what that's for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um... But when it's obviously just to incentivize people to pay them money. <laughs> for themselves and it's like i mean like yeah you gotta make a living but at the same time kind of just cheapens the story oh a little bit and it's also kind of just like we're here to tell a story and then someone jumps in and it's like a large badger appears and it's like okay cool mm. ah this is already a fun job as a gm i absolutely love it <laughs> but it's not for everyone Otherwise, um, I'm just trying to think if there's any other announcements. I don't really think there is. I have a throne if you want to contribute to any of the future adventures I want to be running on this channel. I think Rust mm. Edge is the big one that's up at the moment. Uh, how how do people find this this thing? Uh, let me put it into the chat. Oh, look at him go. Like he does it for a living or something. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, man. That's right. Exclamation mark is how you do it. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that and I was loving it. Yeah, um, I was I was having some struggles. It's been many months. It since has I been have many months. And I do want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least for the Sunday night one, and I'm probably going to be it going to a Wednesday. And we're as here well. now, and it's all good. Yes, it is all good. But <laughs> um, all those proper announcements, off the all done, etc. How about we do some player slash character introductions? <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I'm Bill. Um, I am T.S. Crooney in the chat. Um, I am playing Compostifer, uh, that person that I think someone in chat said looked like they survived a house fire. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> they are an undead uh, compost. Um, 
you if you are a regular viewer of Sunday night games, you might remember them similarly from uh, last campaign. The, the, the story ended with us uh, somewhat creating a new minor race, uh, and <laughs> Compostofa is one. Uh, Compostofa's fun fact uh, this week is uh, he's very smart he's he's an investigator uh like his int stat is very high uh but he's also four uh so he's <laughs> he's still learning his animals uh but he's getting there don't forget object permanence well, yeah he's, he's he's a little loose on that as well he's, yeah he's getting there though his sunshine coated god am i going to just have like a a little leshy or leshy adjacent creature in every game because it's I the same in Pathfinder yes. Society. Yes. We have a TM little guy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's the same in Pathfinder Society. He's not that little, though. Hey, little fella. No, he's not. Com he's terrifyingly five. <laughs> he's a big yeah. boy. Um, he's scary. Who wants to go next? Okay, All right. So, <laughs> I'm. Nick, I'm usually under Mata Maxwell somewhere. Um, Most where? I am playing the elven fighter Felix von Fabre. Um, Fabra, I am never good at the last name, even though I wrote <laughs> it. Classic. Uh, Felix is um, nobility, but lived quite extensively with. Uh, the orcs at this point and uh is currently searching for whatever happened to his orcish lover Aww. Mm -hmm. interesting all right mm. who wants to go next entaro or veliano i will just What's choose one of you Okay, cool. <laughs> Alrighty, hello, I am Andrew. Uh, I'm going to be, you'll see me as Jiri Chin Chat. Uh, and I'm playing Veliana Scordata, a human witch. Uh, was not informed that we're doing fun facts, but I'll do one anyways, I guess. <laughs> oh, it was mentioned. Possibly. It was offhandedly mentioned. It but was. That's fair. <laughs> not confirmed, but I... But it was, yeah, that was, that was the key He's thing. Doing no, an offhanded no. fun fact. Oh. Yeah, um, uh, Veliana grew up hella rich. Not so anymore, though. So, got a bit of a disconnect there. Got cut off. It's fine. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> nice. I was talking Any about myself, person? but okay. Wow. Yeah. And Antara? Uh, and Tara, uh, I'm Nikki, or Coley Flower in chat. Um, Matt, Nick, Bill, we all go way back. Good times. Um, I'm playing Antara Starble, and she is a KL, or Fetchling, as people might know them better. Uh, we're a champion. Um, nothing too fancy there, but, uh, fun fact. Uh, when she stepped through the portal and disappeared, uh, her parents freaked the ever-loving crap out, and she has not been brave enough to go back and see them since. Oh, oh, oh that's interesting. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay then. Wish could relate. Well, <laughs> with all that said, how about we switch over? And Chibi D10 is well over by now. Oh, look at that. What a fancy, fancy splash screen. I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, but before chat like absolutely explodes, how old are all our characters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you started this, Bill. Uh, apparently I did. I'm sorry. Uh, am I going to have to do like the, it. am I going to have to do like the, um, the exclamation mark character name here and then it comes up with the little <laughs> thing. <laughs> Ooh, we can do that. Veliana is 28 years old and likes long walks on the beach. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, wow. 
But, all that said, I, I think we're all ready to begin, are we not? Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's yes. do it. Let's rock and roll off. It has been a long journey to Seven Arches. You have traveled by caravan with Dr. Riddleson, your patron for this journey. And show his picture. Show his picture. Oh, do I have to? You do. Everyone has to know. Yeah, yeah, everyone has to feel our pain. There we go. That is the picture that I've been given for Dr. Riddleson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wood. <laughs> you know. Like I'm a, a doctor. You can trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, that's totally natural. I'm not Lex Luthor after getting <laughs> kryptonite poisoning. I would like to point out he doesn't normally look this way. Uh -huh, yeah. I mean, if this is how he looks now, this is the new normal. Bad Sometimes he looks that. angry. <laughs> uh, but yes, he has. He is the main doctor who has been researching into the missing moment. A period that happened some months ago in which people walked into gates. The Adora, I think as they are pronounced. I think that'll depend who you talk to though. Um, and when these gates opened, various people across the world walked into it and some came back, some didn't. Those who did come back were changed in some way, shape or form. There was something that happened to them. The effects are wide and varied, and Dr. Rilson has been doing a lot of research into it. One of the big things that did happen is everyone who went through and came back, came back with a mark upon their neck. That closely resembles that of the gates with which they went through. No one knows who gave it to them. No one has any memory of their time on the other side of the gate. But... As I said, it has been a long journey to Seven Arches. And as you reach the gates, Dr. Riddleson turns to all of you and uses the black handkerchief to mop the sweat from his age spot forehead. I fear this is as far as I can accompany you. I have matters to attend to, Father East. He smiles fondly. I have no doubt that you can handle this investigation yourselves. Of all my field researchers, you show the greatest promise for uncovering the secrets of the hidden world. I need not remind you, however, of the importance of this mission. He points to the mysterious rune emblazoned across his throat, the same mark that brought you together, the one you will share. Three months ago, we embarked upon a mystery. All across the world, elven teleportation gates, Ajura, burst with light and lured people like us in with visions of our greatest desires. A subset of we so-called gatewalkers returned from the sojourn, some, like you, bearing fascinating new abilities. We all, however, remain ignorant of what befell us on the other side of that doorway, how we came to be marked with this unknown sign, or what may have happened to those who did not return. <laughs> In every university and seminary, scholars are ransacking their libraries to understand this missing moment. Yet I believe that we, that you, will succeed where they all fail. For our quest into the paranormal is not merely academic, but personal. Towards that end, I've given you my most promising lead, Seven Arches. For centuries, any elf who has approached the city's infamous Seven Arches has been subjected to a terrible curse. Yet on the night of the missing moment, the curse was somehow lifted. We need to know why. The city's famed Endura no doubt holds some of the answers we seek, and moreover, represent a prime research opportunity to study the portals in person, and that's where all you come in. Telp, I've arranged you to meet with an old associate of mine, Fianara Calestri. She claims to have crucial information about the arches. Oh, there she is now. As you see an elven woman wearing traveling levers and a backpack, overflowing with scrolls, waving you from the caravan's porch. Well met. Oh. Let's, let's let's head on over. We will look at thank you for uh thank you for accompanying us this far at the very least. Um how do we how do we get in touch with you again to mm, mm, you know if we have more 
information. Yep, that one. If you can find some secure means of doing it, by all means. Otherwise, um, once you've concluded with your research and investigations here, uh, we'll so all meet back. Care. Yes, we'll all meet back there. Well, uh, enjoy your research. I'm hoping it proves fruitful. I'm going into Chiron to see the elves. And hopefully I, just, I don't just get stonewalled upon arrival. But Good luck. Yeah. I mean, I can write you a letter um, if you really need one. <laughs> I I'm should be fine. sure you will. I should be fine. But. Good luck with your investigation. Thank you, and you with yours. And with that, he starts to kind of, he splits off from the caravan and starts to wander down the road east. And you are met by this elven woman. Nate. Oh. Don't have to ask how to spell it when it's there. Oh, yeah. I know it's just perspective, but it looks like she has three shoes. Each bouncing yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of shoes happening. Yeah. She might have three hmm. legs. We don't know. Actually, we do know. She is bipedal. No, it's, it's, it would be three feet coming out of the same each, leg. Out of each leg. So she has six feet. She's a spider. She is <laughs> very dramatic. And I should be awarding people with the hero points that Chad is giving them. I already did mine. Don't worry. I already did mine also. Well, yeah, I gotta do I it for the overlay. Oh, um... no, no, no. Of course. Because, look, I've done pretty things for the hero points as well. And that one. All right. Very nice. Got three. Everyone else has three hero points. I Thank think you, chat. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. <clears throat> Everyone's at three. Everyone's at three. All right. I'll close that that down then. Oh, wow, really? All right. Fianara walks up to all of you and gives you a wave and goes, Oh, hi there. Pleasure to meet all of you. Hello. Doctor, hi. Doc Eddie said to give you the, um, well, not the tour, but the lowdown. Wait, uh, Doc Eddie? Yeah. I have to remember that one. <laughs> You've got a lot of mm -hmm. books. I do have a lot of books. I am a... Can I read your books? Maybe? We'll see how just today goes. Like, you might want to get like, some pull and just be like, covers maybe, on the books maybe. before I hand them over. Yeah. <laughs> well, look. Goopy. I'm a Pathfinder agent. So uh -huh. all of my books will eventually be available as chronicles for the Pathfinder Society. They will be publicly sure available. There will be. Actually, I'm not sure if the most recent one will be or not. Um, so I have information for you and I have a little bit of an update on the situation here in Seven Arches. Wonderful. Should we go somewhere or uh, city gates? Find is this like a hush hush thing or? It's what are not we a talking? hush hush thing. It's... Oh, okay, right, all right. Oh, okay, yes. So, up until very recently, or up until the missing moment, the Seven Arches had the curse. I'm sure you've heard of it by now. I don't really need to get into it. But but now it doesn't, right? Yes. And the mayor was. And for some reason, that's a bad thing. Well, the mayor very silently rescinded the ban on elves in the city. Uh -huh. um, and then the oak stewards kind of quickly stepped in and was like, no, no, we're not sure if the curse is going to come back. We can't do this. So there's been a lot of flip flopping. And we had this somewhat division between the oak stewards here and the mayor. And, huh. and and elves being in the city is bad. So well, they've uh, reached a compromise. You're both 
banned and not banned from the city. Oh, listen, this, this whole place is a very complicated issue because, as you might have guessed, elves had it first, and then just people didn't. moved in while we were away. Uh, I, are you an elf? Squatter's rights. Felix is, yes. But, get, Compostifer, we've, we've been traveling together for a while now. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm. Are you banned from this city? Well, Thea kind of s speaks up again and says, they've reached a compromise. Um, as long as you're not like a diplomat or an ambassador associated with the with the elves or Kyanan, uh, you are allowed in on like for a maximum of one week. This is this is safety concerns. Because if the curse does suddenly come back, then you know we know of every elf that's in the city, and they can be taken out. I personally don't want to risk it. But uh, Felix is very correct. Uh, Seven Arches used to be an elven city. Yeah. A, a very long time ago. Hence the gates. Um, it's right. also being kind of built on the bones of the old elven city as well. So, you know, that's also kind of awkward. It's fine. We're not bitter about it. <laughs> no, absolutely not bitter. It's fine. That said, because you do bring up the arches that are in the city, I have a theory, and I want you all to help me prove it. Wonderful. Um, you, you want us to falsify information, or...? No, I think just... they're fake. Oh. I think the arches <laughs> are fake. Yeah. Like... Well, let's think about been, this. Or... What function... Do archers perform? Well, these particular ones are supposed to perform the function of being gate, like a duo. They're supposed to be gates between like other places. Mm, but okay, when the missing moment happens, if they all opened up at the same time, then you know a bunch of people from the city would have gone in. Seven and minimum. just let me clarify: Did a bunch of people from the city go in? Nope. Ah. So maybe they're not real then. Open, or, you know. Well, that's the thing. Uh, they all opened. All of them opened. Even some of the ones that are underground that we don't like to talk about. It's fine now. <laughs> Concerning. But when it all happened, you know, there a shift happened, like a major shift happened, and things across the world have changed since then in some imperceivable ways. It, it's absolutely fascinating for a researcher, but... Quite the yes. conundrum. Hmm. Um, haven't needed to carry around uh, material components. It's <laughs> interesting. Good, evil, lawful, chaotic. It's all up in the air now. Well, I cared much less about that. <laughs> Just but. shrugs. I have a theory that the arches in the city are uh, are fake. Unfortunately, however, and she kind of looks askew at the gods at the gate, and the gods give her like the the evil eye. Um, I was caught <laughs> trying to caught prove my theory. Oh. Oh. Good. So I've been banned from the city, at well, least for now. Is it is it really safe? For us to be seen talking to you. Oh, you should be fine. Might okay. be seen as uh, colluders. Oh, it's fine. I'm, I'm just a merchant selling like books and things. Sure, you are. Mm. Yeah, you should definitely give us some of your books so those guards don't think that we're colluding with you. Give me a diplomacy check. Oh yeah. Can That's I? Can I aid? <laughs> you can aid. You can. Read can I? Me. Yep. Whatever the opposite of aid is, because I'm not sure if yeah. Compostifer can read. <laughs> oh no, Compostifer can definitely read. Yeah. Yeah. Compostifer didn't like... know Felix was an elf. Yeah. Oh, Felix I, I, doesn't I, know uh, if Compostifer can read. No, oh, no. Wow. Is it like that's the, fair. 
Um, Pablo reading where they do the touch. Buster, you got a three. <laughs> Yeah, I just hold my hand out expectantly, like very self entitled. Yeah, Veliana was not motivated much to aid. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually how this works in a merchant situation is gold is exchanged for the books. Uh huh. <laughs> but we're doing you a favor. Well, you are, and that is, that is a good thing. But this is an exchange of information. If you can do this for me, then I can give you the information that Dr. Eddie wants me to give you. Because okay. I have a really good lead on what you need to know. Hmm. Okay. I feel that's just ever so slightly a dick move on your behalf. Well... <sighs> I'm happy to do it, don't get me wrong, because if people are claiming elven architecture is that it's not elven i'm going to be very angry at people well look that was actually my first um when i saw the arches in the city when i looked at them i was like they're not elven design they're someone's expression of elven design does anyone have like a woodcut or something of the arches from before um maybe in your books <laughs> She goes, reaches for one of her books and goes, no, I see what you're doing there. But she Would pulls out, she pulls out an hourglass from her backpack. Hmm. All you oh, need are to we do... timing this conversation now? No, it's not that kind of hourglass. If you can get this into one of the arches and just let it sit there for like 10 seconds or something... That should give me all the information that I need. Like on the precipice or like in the top of the arch? What What do you mean? Um, kind of like within the arch, like underneath it. So bury it. No, like, un like at the apex. Like just the threshold? There. Yes, thank you. No. Yeah. I'm going to take that from her. Super don't like people going near them, do they? Well, look, up until recently, there was something of a tourist attraction because the gates have mm. never worked since the founding of the city. That never indicated that lets me know that they're probably fake. But uh, there have been some recent attacks on the city from Gorgas, which are these kind of like fey things. Um, so they have increased security. Also, I probably haven't helped in that regard. Hmm. Wonderful. So you've asked us to do a job that you arches. yourself have failed. Kind of, yeah. Look, Are you a Gorgon? No. <laughs> mm. But they're Fey. Gorgas, yes. And you're an elf. I am an elf. Okay. Which is kind of Fey. Look, I don't want to confuse mm -hmm. you. Oh no, I'm not confused. I see. Uh, I see what's going on here. Compy stares accusingly. Wait. How are you part A? I I would yeah, like just it. as as the rest of the party that doesn't include Compostopher. Beforehand, could we have all agreed to carry around gold stars for when Compostopher <laughs> like gets something right? <laughs> yes. Wonderful. Oh God, yes. I'm gonna I'm going to give him a gold star for remembering she's an elf. Ooh. Huh? Way to go, oh, chap. Uh, Felix, you see that thing that you have in your hand there? Uh, there, yes. I have it, please. The gold star? Yep. Yep. <gasps> you you get it, buddy. buddy. <sighs> the goes... compost now is just going to end up just all starry. Oh, no, look, I'm quite sure the inventory for Compostopher is going to have lots of stars in it. Oh. By the time all this is over. I can't wait to lead the child Compostopher down the wrong path. I should have said <laughs> it. It's full of stars. But I would usually have a team supporting me with all this. Um, they're apparently on the way. But 
the society is busy with all sorts of other things that are going on. They have their own interdimensional issues at the moment. It's all being a, being a big thing. Why is it that whenever something big goes down, the society's always busy? It's usually because they're... We have stuff going on. Sure. And, it, and it's usually our fault to some degree or another. But it's a big organization. So you Excuse think me, lady. Would... Uh, you said that I could give you gold for books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look very cross at you. <laughs> uh, Valiana's smirks. <laughs> Clever compy. So, uh, we have an accord, a deal. Put your hourglass in the archway. Leave it there for a couple of minutes. It will gather data, bring it back to you. Ten seconds should be all it needs. And you'll know, it'll, it'll like light up and make a noise. And then you'll tell us what you were meant to tell us by someone else. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Great. Love that. Look. Well, let's go check out this tourist attraction then. Mm, wonderful. All right. Well, first things first. You're just going to hang around outside the gates, I guess. Uh, she gestures to a tent behind her. Yeah, and she's kind oh, of wonderful. she's kind of set up like a rug in front of it. She's got like a little desk inside and a cot for a bed. It's okay. I prepare for this uh, kind of thing. Right at the Have front nice gate. Now. I love yeah. malicious compliance. Right. And yeah, I, from I'm city. not coming yeah. inside. <laughs> and I am exactly outside the range that you required me to be outside of. To be fair. Uh, she's not the only one here. There's a bunch of other people, but they're mostly associated with the caravan. So merchants and things offloading goods and loading them on. Not that Seven Arches has much in the way of exporting. However. Um, and just to be sure, Felix, you had that um, hourglass here? Yes. Wonderful. Welcome um, to the city of Seven Arches. Whoa! Huzzah! Uh, Brady, Brady, Felix, Brady. do you mind if I take a look over the uh, hourglass? Not a problem. Well, it might be worthwhile to know what we're placing below an arch before we do it. So, so I'm going to try and identify the... this hourglass. You're going to try to identify it? Yeah. Uh, give me a Arcana or a Cult check. Mm, I'll do a Cult. While we're doing that, GM, whereabouts is the entrance we're entering by? Uh, you will be entering from over here. Ah, uh, wonderful. Cool. Now. Who designed this city? Elves! Didn't you hear? Oh. <laughs> Good job, us. Well, it should be noted that the internal sections of Seven Arches were designed vaguely by elves and then built upon by mostly humans. Uh, whereas the outside of the city, which is kind of expanded in the way that Urban Sprawl does, has been, you know, a mixture of different people. Mm -hmm. Uh, the limits of the curse that plagued the city up until recently uh, is kind of vague and unknown. Uh, most people expect it usually only works or functions within the walls of the city. But there's plenty of anecdotal evidence that suggests that it affects people who are, you know, just settling outside the city as well. What were the known effects of the curse? Uh, it would begin by taking away your short-term memory. Then it would take your long-term memory. And My then check. you would just forget to breathe. Dang, ah. I'm worried I'm already cursed. 
you would just simply forget to do your the regular functions that you're supposed to do as an elf. Be superior. <laughs> Arrogance. Ah, I did this to myself. But yeah, that is the city. <laughs> Hourglass. With your check. Unfortunately, it's not so much that it's too complicated. You get the feeling that there is some sort of like a variation on detect magic that's been built into it. But otherwise, it seems pretty simple and unobtrusive. Cool. Um, well, it's probably not going to blow up in our faces, so... We're good to go. Or at least you hope it won't. <laughs> now I gotta drag people onto a map. Heading to the plaza. Indeed. Seems Hollywood. like the, the reasonable place. So the plaza is where these seven aforementioned arches are located. That is correct. Well, seeing as it's called Arch Plaza, probably. Perhaps. That wouldn't be the first time mm, something right. gets named something and then it's just not true. <laughs> yeah, especially when it's related to uh, tourist trap sort of things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> more of a mall than a plaza. Sure the enough. Arches, however, are nowhere. As you enter the plaza, there are various wagons, tents, and stalls that have been set up around the edges. And also there are several buildings, little bars, uh, tourist stops and stores, that kind of thing. But sure enough, in the center of the plaza are the seven arches. And you can see the oak stewards that are standing guard. But otherwise, a set of trees, seven of them, uh, oak trees to represent each of the gates have also been grown here. They are only about ten feet high, though. Hmm. There's little stunted. So how 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 old are these trees? <clears throat> yeah, we. Oh, look, it, it's look important. These lads. Chat needs to know how old the trees are. They need to know how <laughs> old the trees are. Well, you yeah. have to cut one of them down to find out. Oh, oh. that's grim. That's that. Um. None yeah, of man, you... Can I get a token for best boy? You can get a token for best boy. Good. And these were what oak guardians or something? What they called? Best boy. They're called oak stewards. Uh, they serve as oak. the local druids, and also they act as the town god slash militia for the area. Nature cops. Gatekeepers. <laughs> oh, oh, in this instance, and jobs have already been taken. <laughs> But yeah, how big's the hourglass? Yeah, good question. Oh, I want to say the size of a football, probably a little bit less. I was going to say a typical hourglass, but that's not really helpful. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> well, I mean, a typical I mean, hourglass is like small. Like an egg timer. Just yeah, like an egg timer is quite small, but an hourglass that's made to measure an hour has to be a little be. bit bigger, right? Yeah. 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 Theoretically. Uh my my main question is would Dalinax the mighty be able to carry it see the book specifically says hey we're not going to supply a stat block for this thing mm -hmm. yeah nice I am going to say that it yep. is of a lightweight cool because my thought process for a while is here um, is we can distract the guards Dalinax can just fly well up into the air and then fly down and just drop it into, like, essentially place it in uh, the center of the gate while we distract the guards. Is there any risk on, like, uh, beings entering the threshold of the gate? Mm. I don't want to put them in danger, that's all. Uh, worst case scenario, Daladax comes back in the morning. <laughs> Better than us. Uh, just wow. Say. <laughs> Wow. Although, no, I, 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 I wouldn't. I don't want to. about that. 
I don't want I don't want to risk Talonax. He's so cute. He's a sweet little baby. Uh, I'm just checking something quickly. Uh Compostifer. Give me a perception check. Sure thing. I can give you one of them. Everyone can do this. Oh. It'll just be different information. Go uh -huh. away. Make them public. Make them oh, public. Oh, do. What well, sort of do you check, have? Sorry? Perception. Perception. Ah. Because you have uh, three hero points. Me, me Make it a plus one based on it's probably pursuant to a lead. I was about to say this would be pursuing your lead. Last one. All right. So for most of you, I can let you know, you all find it a little bit odd that the stewards here only seem to be guarding the one threshold or at least the mm. one way in. Uh, Otherwise, they seem pretty much not distracted. It's just kind of like they're casually chatting to one another. Uh, one of them is keeping half an eye on all of you as you kind of get a little bit closer, but they haven't said anything yet. Otherwise, Compostifer. Not only does it strike you a little bit odd that the gods are only really on this threshold, but mm -hmm. you also notice that like a cat starts to walk past and kind of walks along the edge of the barrier for a little while, but never crosses it. Hmm. Kind of like it hasn't unlocked a high enough level to uh, enter that area. Um. You see that even the even the wildlife doesn't want to cross over that rope hmm. thing. I want to like see if I can see any birds flitting around in the trees. See if that that's the same. Uh, small birds, like mm -hmm. sparrows, hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. But anything yeah. kind of like cat-sized or bigger seems to avoid crossing it. Mm. Um, yeah. Dalnex, are your instincts telling you anything? Well, boss, um, if the cats aren't going to cross it... I mean, if, if you want, we can, like, do a do a thing and see what happens. I mean, if that's what you want. Um, but I'm sure you're much more brave than a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me a diplomacy check. Will do. The DC's lowered because he's your familiar after all. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we rolled? Yeah, right. Not strong. He'll kind of look at that barrier and go, uh, So, how are we doing this, boss? Hmm. So, you say that there's like the small, like there's small birds kind of doing, but the cat isn't? The cat isn't. Hmm. So, it's, it's probably a size thing, but trial and error says, well, the birds are higher up. <laughs> yep. Let's see. I mean, you got wings. Uh, you can probably just fly on over, right? I mean, I mean sure, boss. Like, <clears throat> don't see why I can't. And, and, you know, if things feel a bit weird, you can come back. Relay the information. So how high should I go? Like, do you want me to carry the hourglass now, or...? Uh, let's hold off on the hourglass for now, just in case... ...something... ...loosens your grip. Um, but... ...go as high as you want. The sky's the limit. Literally. Alright. He takes off to the air... ...about 20 feet. And he starts to make his way over to the barrier and as he crosses it we hear a horrible bird screeching sound oh. like a cockatoo or something like that high-pitched screeching 
And both oak stewards look over to the dragon. The fairy dragon. Uh, oh. What's that? <laughs> there. And he sheepish, sheepishly kind of recrosses the barrier. Oh. All the other people in the area now have your full attention as they're kind of looking over to what's just happened here. Now, Dalonax, what have I told you about flying off? You gotta be careful about that. Sorry, folks. Um, you know how dragons can be. Yeah, no, totally my fault. It was absolutely my fault. And he will alight to your shoulder again. Felix, you're walking up to the stewards. Evening, gentlemen. Afternoon. Can't help but notice you're blocking the path. Uh, yes. Please stop blocking the path. Uh, no. We're under orders to keep everyone out from the arches at the moment. Under whose orders? But and Felix, I want to go in, make them move so I can go in. Can I look at the thing, please? I'm working on it, Compostor. Oh, just okay. give me a moment. Okay. Under the orders of the Oak Stewards, no one is allowed to go inside. Fantastic. And do the Oak Stewards own those arches? Uh, as the protectors of Sorry, the city... Let me let me uh, rephrase that. Did the Oak Stewards create those archers and therefore, by rights, own those archers? He or do they perhaps side. fall under the uh, purvey of the royalty of Kionin? Uh Sir, are you a representative of the Kionin royalty? I am. Mm. <sighs> I just sort of, like, gesture, like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no. Nope. <laughs> representative you wouldn't have been allowed in all right sir you're gonna have to come with me i would love to see you try and not create the world's biggest diplomatic incident um felix hello uh my friend's a bit gun how about this uh we're actually on uh we're, uh what was i again uh we are here on behalf of the Oak Wardens to investigate uh, how you are doing your job. It's an audit, in fact. Give me a deception check. I mean, that is pretty ball. good. That is pretty good. An audit. What do we Indeed. need the order for? Well, first things first, you did pass the first test, which was if an elf claiming to be of royalty did approach you, you were to not let them pass. Yes, because it's a security concern and we don't want anyone to lose their lives by going into the plaza. Exactly. And speaking of security, uh, do you mind running through all the security measures that you have in place and... Uh, and how you go about uh, replying to each of those issues, should they be, uh, should those security measures be crossed, uh, just to make sure that you are doing things uh, per the book. He rolls his eyes, and he starts to go through some of the more basic security stuff that they have going on at the moment. Uh, for instance, the rope barrier has an alarm spell upon it, which if anyone of bigger than a sparrow tries to cross it, it sets off the alarm. That is the big one. Otherwise, they're just here to guard it and make sure no one enters. Apparently, they had an elven woman recently try to um, examine them a little bit too closely and cause something of an incident. Yeah, that was the uh, incident that actually... Uh, prompted us to begin auditing. Well, we're doing our job. Ah, uh, 
Yes, I understand. And I, I mean, I'm quite certain that you have everything under lock and key, and I'm just being sent out here to do it myself. Mm-hmm. While you're all doing that, Antara, I can't help but notice that you're a little bit separated from everyone else. Oh, yes. So, what are you doing while the guards are distracted? I'm just close enough to hear what's going on, but ready to step in if need be. All just right. making it look like I'm touristy. Touristy? Checking out things and all the stuff? Just, ooh, look at that! Seeing how far I can lean over the alarm thing before it starts to trigger. Just testing. Well, once again, it's interesting. It seems like the local wildlife has gotten used to the phenomenon. Hmm. So, like Impostor said, the cats don't cross it. And in a similar way, you see a, a couple of dogs chasing each other around the streets, and they kind of skid to a halt when one of them's about to cross the barrier. Hmm. But the tiny birds and things seem to not be bothered by it whatsoever. Hmm. So, back with the gods, you do have them. This is really much for a while. They are currently very much distracted. Hmm. So, what's the plan? I feel like I've talked quite a bit, so <laughs> let's. Let's see. Look, gentlemen, it seems as though your uh, exclusionary security is top-notch. Do you think you could just let us inside and make sure that the uh, uh, ability to escape uh, is also intact? You know, just to do an internal audit. If I could just, uh, just, yeah, just, yeah, t yep, left, just take a step, Give please. Give me a deception check. Oh, yeah, I'm great at those. I'll, I'll aid to help. Yes. Look, I got a hero points. I'll roll a hero point for this. You do have a hero point. Ooh. That's better. That is better. Oh, uh, that's a crit success, so too higher. So 17. <laughs> God. Let's just check that off from Compostifer. I think you will find, gentlemen, very clearly that I am, in fact, not an elf. <laughs> they kind of look oh. you over and go, we can certainly see that. It's uh, all written right here. A <laughs> uh, great job, uh, Compy. I, I hand over a star. <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you would have got it in Absalom. I had it notarized. <laughs> yeah. By what? I don't know. I think uh, some sort of bog monster. Swamp hack. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, you guys... It's going to take a moment, I'm sure. Uh, I, I, I'll, like, obnoxiously rasp on the yeah. uh, the inside of the the threshold, I guess. The inside yeah. of the portal. Yeah, I'll yeah. go in, cast, like, detect magic. There is magic like, in the area. Me. Yeah, no shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, now, here's the thing. I'm going to be excluding the alarm spell. There is magic in the area. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. I'm gonna try to engage this guard in just general chit chat, so he's not looking over his shoulder at them. And then I'll place down the. Uh, I'll do the same glasses. to this guard, but it's entirely like just obnoxious, egging him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yep. Veliana, give me a fevery check. Oh yeah, of course we'll do. <laughs> you know, we were building these magical transporting arches while you people were still in caves. <laughs> Yeah, I say that, but you're a druid. You're still in caves, so well done. Yeah, like a cave. Ooh. I turn into a bear on a regular basis. Uh, hmm. Evolutionary win there, huh? Um, uh, Veliana. So where's the local church, right? Well, we're mostly hmm. a druidic city. Oh. So we have a couple of temples and things. Not nothing of major note. 
Just uh, copy sprinting across the path. <laughs> nice oxymoron, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> uh, Beliana, are you happy with that check? Yeah, it yeah. sucks, but I'm, 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 I've committed. They're distracted. They are distracted. That's what I'm hoping at. Would um your little guy be with you helping? Uh, he cannot. He doesn't have reactions. He can't aid me on that yet. Yet. Okay. That time but may you come. Don't think I'm grabbing him, getting him partner in crime. <laughs> That does work. Now, the gods are a little bit distracted at the moment. So, what I'm going to get from Felix... Oh, you're trying to egg him on. I want to say intimidate. Let's see how you do with that. Beautiful. <laughs> Very good. Oh no. And, and Tara, what are you saying to the gods? Just small talk. Just have you heard about Palura? She's a great goddess. The stars look lovely this time of night area oh. season. Have you heard about a lady and savior? <laughs> yeah, <basically. laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. Have you considered coming to church sometime? I mean he kind of goes into his pocket, pulls out a journal that has like a moon emblazoned on it, and goes, Well, oh. I should be clear for the next couple of full moons. Well, you're welcome to come and uh, Session start one. Game. <laughs> Session one. Yeah. Fuck sticks, man. <laughs> there are druids here. What did you want? Yeah. Yeah, they got a Session the two. Schedule. <laughs> That's what I wanted. One day, <laughs> session two. Look, I wasn't no, going to make a big deal of it. <laughs> sure you weren't. I I have this for you, Matt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'd also appreciate a villain point, but oh, I can oh. give you a villain. I'll, I'll give you a villain point for that. <laughs> yeah, do it. I concur. Uh give me a diplomacy check, though, Antara. Oh. Uh. Small talk takes diplomacy. Uh, uh. I'm just using it as a, a gauge, a basis. Yeah, half decent get, at this. I get a villain point. I haven't set up the other two villain points, but I do get one. Hey. The gods seem to be suitably distracted. As you kind of leave the hourglass there for the 10 seconds require required after they pass the top bulb on the hourglass begins to glow purple and it makes a small little ping sound ping <laughs> the entire oh. city shuts down compostifer <laughs> obnoxiously fake coughs oh, oh, inspector does everything look like it's uh okay over there with you uh, is, uh, like kind of like looking over the hourglass, mm -hmm. bringing it into our deception. Um, it does appear that all the wards are in fully functional. Excellent. The um, uh, the the uh, problem with uh, underground incursion looks sound. Uh, as you know, head office was fearful of. I I think we're good here. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Uh, the only thing I can think of is um. The board does not stop smaller animals, so if someone were to uh, use magic to get into a much smaller shape, they would be mm -hmm. able to bypass that ward. Yeah, um, I would be worried about trained ant colonies. Something to consider. As you mentioned that, one of the oak stewards um, goes, uh, no, it's also set up for polymorph effects. Oh, wonderful. We're druids. <laughs> Turning into yeah. rats is the first thing we learn how to do. I didn't want to bring it up because it, you know, I know so like that would be a bit rude to talk about, but yes. You know, I'm pretty sure elves invented druids. <laughs> Here go, they own them. Right? <laughs> one of the oak stewards just kind of gives you a dirty look for that one. 
Um, I'd like to think I... that nature doesn't belong to anyone. Hmm. You'd be wrong, though. Yeah. Um, Love congrats to see you on the uh, next star. Succeeding Jesus. at that test as well. Um, Something. Resisting the urge to punch uh, my compatriot here is a commendable task. <laughs> His Oops, grip on his stuff uh, tightens a little bit. Do not let us impress out. upon your day any further. We we apologize yeah, and thank you for putting up with our uh, with our needful inspection here. Please, I'm I'm sure you could find a good use for this. We'll be on our way. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Uh, one of them brings it up to his like uncorks it, brings it up to his nose, gives it a quick <laughs> sniff, and goes ugh. <laughs> Thank oh, you for the at... job. Very druidish. Anyway. <laughs> I, I, I thought that was supposed to be compost for his mouthwash. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Oh yeah, it's it's now half uh, decanter of sour wine, half decanter of compost of his backwash. Uh, but uh... it's theirs now. I've, I've deleted it from my, my character sheet. Okay. Yeah. Bill, I'm scared of you ever playing an inventory management game. <laughs> It's fine, honestly. Well, you have the hourglass. Um, well, shall we return back to, uh, Fianara? I mean, well, we don't want to, we don't want to return too quickly and seem like it was too easy, right? I mean, it we want to draw it out of it and be like, oh, it easy. was really difficult. It was a good ruse, though, I must say. But we could just, you know, Tell her that she sucks. She does. That's true. I remember. <laughs> so, what's the plan? Have lunch, then go back and see her? Mm, lunch. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, Compostivus getting that look like he needs to refill. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, local cuisine could be interesting. Well, fine, interesting. Poor. New. <laughs> Different from what Old. you have been having up until this point. Rustic. That sounds the worst of them all. Not gonna lie. Mm, rusty food. Yum. Uh, uh, I hope not. Though I wouldn't be surprised. After a Thank little bit of right. asking around, you are informed that probably the best place to go for lunch around here is a place known as Honeybrush Cabaret. Um, Ooh, cabaret. They're, Promising. Yes. They are well known for putting on like nightly plays and live performances, that kind of thing. Can we catch the matinee? Come on, can we? Can we? <laughs> Only if you're good. Mm. I don't think we can wait that long before returning the hourglass. Oh, well, we can catch it after. Apparently, they do something new every night. <gasps> wow. Which, you know, that I'm not going to regret old. later on. <laughs> We're going to come here every night. No. <laughs> Every night we're in town. I don't know why you're joking about us not. Now, let's see how big your tokens are going to be on this map. Because of course we're going to do this every night. Oh, just oh. hell yeah, oh, let's we're destroy not, a city. We're not <laughs> kaiju level, but we're like attack on titan level. Yeah, we could stomp a house or two, eat a mom. This is mostly so you can kind of vaguely say where you are at any given time. A gridless. Oh. What a time. <laughs> Time to break out the rulers. Yeah, I'm unbound. <laughs> well, I like beeline for this honey brush cabaret. It sounds exciting. Uh, it is pretty exciting uh, for the lunchtime performance because the um, younger individuals will be here as well. Uh, like Compostor. Uh, they're doing something of a not a kid's performance, but, you know, they've got, like, the mascots out and things like that. Mm-hmm. 
Definitely family friendly. Definitely family friendly. Their mascot is apparently a bee of some sort. Uh huh. Otherwise, fantastic. Uh, the cuisine is. <laughs> God. I regret giving drawing tools back. Could be anyone. <laughs> As your pointer literally has your name on it. <laughs> well, I have learned the information that I needed to know. The city is only a one kilometer wide and 600 meters tall. I will change the the measurements. Gale. <laughs> I will change it. But uh, their cuisine is kind of what you would call faux elven. Mm, Great. Okay. Yeah. This is Outback Steakhouse all over again. I'll get the honey chicken, please. Uh, it is very... um someone's expression of what would be high-class elven cuisine. Mm-hmm. Well, so, Felix, what would you recommend? Leaving. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't seen the show yet. Leaving without dignity, then. You may stay for <clears throat> lunch and, it, and all sorts of things like that. And stay oh. for the show. If you do stay for the show, it is quite entertaining. I will just well. Ask well, the what is what is the show, is. Matt? Like Good. more in depth. The show is kind of a dance and comedy performance, as the <gasps> mascot kind of pantomimes through the performance while an assistant kind of mouths both parts. It's very is interesting. There, and well done. Is there crowd participation? Not a lot of it. Apparently, that's uh, gone badly in the past. I <laughs> Um, and Tara, you were asking for a recommendation from the waiter. Oh, yeah. Uh, he does recommend the honey chicken. Also, he recommends something called the um, honey brush uh, canapes, which is a mm. selection of finger foods that are to be uh, shared amongst the table. Do you have any of them for, but from yesterday? Uh, not usually. Could you look? Um... Order them for today and then eat them tomorrow. <gasps> Genius! Those to go, please. Uh, don't worry about putting them in an airtight container. Not at all. Uh, that would ruin it. Actually, preferably don't. Okay. Uh, so I will get that at you. If you want to put. <laughs> 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 this is when your decanter of sour wine would have gone great. Ah, I gave it away already. Veliana, do you have the uh, hourglass? Let's have a look at it. Maybe, maybe we can we can gleam something from it. Well, it glowed purple. <gasps> Ooh. Now, um, Veliano, you have already yeah. done the check for this. But if someone else wants to attempt the check, they may. Yeah, I just I'll have it. it down I'll have it, correct? Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Arcane or cult? I'll give you a, an arcana. Ooh. Compostifer. You kind of give it a close examination and your memories kind of tap into something you don't quite understand but kind of accept it. Uh, the color purple is sometimes attributed to illusion magics. Hmm. So this would probably be an indicator of illusion magics happening in the area. Mm-hmm. I sort of look at it and I'm like, I don't think this is what it seems to be. She might have been tricking us. I think this has some sort of illusion magic on it. Or maybe it's drawn in some uh, illusion it's magic. From... It detected. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Um, if you got that in one go, you would have gotten a star. <laughs> <laughs> Getting stingier with the stars, I see. Oh, <laughs> already, jeez. Well, he was wrong with his first guess. We don't, we don't give uh, stars out to losers. Not for <laughs> second best. Ugh. <laughs> Once you're done with that, however, do you go back to Fia? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Did you want us to pay for lunch? No. no, you're good. Okay. 
tip the waiter. Wonderful. So. I mean, if, if people want to get rid of their coppers and silvers. No, not here. Not here? <laughs> not here. Not here. You'll find a place. <laughs> How was the cuisine at the end of the day? Was it tip worthy or was it, you know, could have could have been better? Oh, Galarian doesn't have tipping. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> but you eventually make your way back to Thier, who's looking pretty excited by the by your free arrival. She looks hopeful, to say the very least. Yeah. Uh, so, so we did investigate, and yeah. they're real. Ish. Define real. Totally fake. Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> I just kind of half-heartedly toss her the hourglass. She grabs the hourglass out of the, out of the air and kind of has a look at the top and goes, Ah-ha-ha! I was correct! <laughs> so, this top bulb means that it detected illusion magic in the area. And the fact that this bottom bulb is empty means that there was no teleportation effects in the area. So the arches least, are fake. Not, at least not at the time. Well, presumably, gates of that amount of power would have some trace amounts of something at all times. Something residual. Something residual. Like, these are gates that are supposed to, like, take you to other planets. Is that far? Yeah. I mean, they can just take you to another point on a planet. It doesn't yeah. have to be into... into I'll planets. teach you about the, uh, the uh. planets later. When the sun goes down, we'll look at the sky and I'll, I'll tell you about them. Uh, uh, yes, the gates can connect to any other gate, so... Their usage, as such, is lost, and the Ajura, for the most part, haven't really been functional in a very long time. Not on large. <laughs> and... Well, probably for the best, considering how far spread they are, and considering the location of some of them. Noble Felix shuts his trap. <laughs> <laughs> so, we collected the information that you wanted. Well, we also found this wonderful cabaret place that you should definitely check out when you're allowed back mm, in the city, that is. The Honeybrush Cabaret. I was really oh looking God. forward to it. So cute. It's incredibly insulting. I'm really hoping their food's good. Yeah, but I'm I'm kind of curious, even if it is slightly insulting. But my I suspicion... Mean, is that the real arches are further south from here in the actual forest, the Wildwoods. Cause like they got moved? Um, um, is it really called the Wildwoods? Wild. No D. Oh, okay. Dang. <laughs> now, is that like like Wiles? Like ooh, or just well, W-I-L. Uh, W-I-L -E. W I L E. Okay, um, yeah. So, like the coyote. I'm suggesting there because the oak stewards actually have some pretty major restrictions and they got the pathways into it pretty heavily. Hmm. More so than a rope with an alarm spell? Exactly. Um, mm. We do know for a fact that there are a bunch of fey to the south of here. Some of those Gorgons you were speaking of. Gorgas, yeah. Also, if anyone wants Would to do you're... like a nature check on that. Yeah, that sounds fun. <sighs> Untrained. <laughs> cool boy. Yeah. Well. I don't know nearly enough about nature to try that. No. I'm a city girl. I'm going to show you a picture of one of them. <gasps> hmm. Oh. 
I like I pretty much like ninety percent of it. <laughs> Neato. Uh, I'd say there, not a I would say ninety-five percent. I'm about all of them. They're a, a type of fey, uh, where the shadow plane and the the first worlds of the fey kind of cross over a little bit. Look at his little snood. This is what players who constantly interrupt. I have dark vision. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens to them and their pets. Yeah. Um, how do you Are spell they it? Are Uh, they're fake creatures. So, no. Oh. But, Gorgas, how do you, how do you spell, spell that? Well, G-O-R-G-A-S. But Ah, Gorgas. Not Gorgas. For you, Felix, uh, Gorgas kind of refers to a family of fae as opposed to individual creatures. Mm-hmm. So there are other versions of them. Are they all similarly uh, shadow related? Yes. <clears throat> ah, wonderful. Antara, you'll be right at home. What? It's a kind of shadowy fae. Oh, I... I left the shadow realm for a reason. Just sort of glow a little brighter. You know? Feels like that's actually a really cool trick. That's wonderful. Like, poor rental market? <laughs> well, rent's kind of bad well, everywhere at the moment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the nightlife is awful. <laughs> <laughs> it never stops. No, because everything is reverse when it comes to Emily Show. Would it be the daylight? God. Or would it be All shadow of... nightlife? Because you have to put shadow in front of everything from the shadow plane. True, true. Yeah. yeah. Shadow nightlife is real bad. Yeah. You know, for them, it's just, you know, the nightlife. You know that, right? Night, but darker. Yeah. Anyway, Thea goes, now, I owe you some extra information. You do. <clears throat> yes. Yes, now, you do. There were seven gods that were supposed to be guarding the archers. Now, I have it on good authority that on the night of the missing moment, all seven gods went into the, went into the gates. But only one came like, out what? again. They went through them. Yes. Like we did. I should probably... Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, we're all heavily marked, right? Yeah, and she's like, yeah, I can see the tattoos yeah. on your necks. Well, the marks, the brands. The things? Yeah. If you scratch mine, it smells like bubblegum. <laughs> uh, kind Just of... real quick. The world's quickest whisper. Don't eat the trap. <laughs> <laughs> she does reach out for a couple of moments and goes, you know what? Maybe later. <laughs> Uh, the man who came out again is an oak steward by the name of Bolin. Uh, he was... I have been informed that he was something of a dick beforehand, and he's just even worse now. Wonderful. Um, apparently and he'll just get along peachy. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, he is uh, trying to... Uh, take over the oak stewards and is pulling a uh. bunch of is pulling a bunch of their own people to his side and it's becoming very ugly and the oak stewards are kind of stretched a little bit thin at the moment and with the other other six he doesn't have much contention in power sort of thing well he's he's pretty low level on the totem pole but oh since he came back through, there's just something different about him, apparently, that draws people to him. A neat tattoo. <laughs> he does seem like the kind of guy from what I've been told. You know, the guy who just can't help but show up the tattoo to everyone he meets. Ugh. But Perhaps we need to have a word. Apparently, he stole an artifact from the Oak Stewards before he took off from the city. 
Oh my god. Oh, what what did he steal? I don't know. Now, oh. is that artifact with a capital A or just, you know? I an wish artifact. I knew. He stole something, some important artifact from the Oak Stewards. And he took off to the south and he's made some sort of camp in the Wild Woods as well. Which is why I think the Seven Arches are actually there. And he's looking for them. Considering he's an oak steward and was there the night of the missing moment, I'm pretty sure he knows where they are already. Oh. So. Find him, we find we the actual. We find lock. him, we can find them. Correct. Yes. And you want to find him? Yeah. Look, I know the bow looks pretty fancy. I'm not that much of a fighter. I use a longbow because it means I can stay very far away from the fight, and if someone starts running towards me, I can run the other way. And well, I am fair. pretty fast on my feet. Elf so were these five, seven five, guards in the Arch Plaza? Oh no, this was outside the city. One Hence why I have these suspicions. Probably well, get this let's in the wild these woods and mess up some druids. Okay. Mm. Sounds like a clue. No, sounds like a lead. That would be a lead. However, mm. if you try to get to the wild woods at the moment, the oak stewards will stop you. Oh no, whatever shall we do? Can we go around? I mean, the druids. Right. <laughs> So they're in on it. Look. Um, and their leadership is in the city. Well, I was about to say, I do actually have a friend on the council. And do they want their artifact back? They do want their artifact back. What if we try and get employed by them to get the artifact back? They'll give us a pass to go anywhere. Store. Potentially. I mean, hopefully, yeah. Uh, you're looking for a halfling by the name of Lemmer Feldthorn? Mm -hmm. Little guys, yep. <laughs> she should be easy to see. She'll have her horse nearby. Ah, horse. Hang on, <laughs> where are we? Where Whereabouts is there? Oh. Headquarters. Their headquarters are in Vinehole. <sighs> yes, very good, very good. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Um, yes. Well, friends, should we slip our way to Vinehole? Wonderful. If we must. Good luck. I'm sure oh, you'll Felix, have lots have of you fun ever there, Felix. Camped? Sorry? Have you ever camped? Oh, of course, yes. Oh, wow. You'll get used to it then. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. I, I'm used to a life of, uh, shall we call it, outdoor activities. Um, I'm just not used to amateurs. <laughs> See, I imagine people would be like, oh, druids, they're going to rough it in the forest and in nature when it's probably more likely that as druids with their power over nature it would be just glamping of a different sort mm -hmm. <laughs> like to have spells like oasis that can just kind of make an area safe for them and you know the trees will grow fruit for them and stuff make a little oasis and such but you quickly find Lemma. She's pretty easy to find. Uh, she's about three and a half feet tall. And she is kind of escorted around by a full-sized horse. Hmm. Little fella. Is she riding the horse or just like walking with it? No, they seem to just be walking the horse together. They seem to be in discussion about something. The horse is inside? Yes. 
Does the horse have Mr. Pants on? <laughs> An inside horse. The horse is our inside man. Uh, it the doesn't horse even is have in a the saddle. hospital. We're in the rich Doesn't... people place. No saddle, no pants. Naked horse. That's got walking inside. Kind of scandalous. It's got kind of like um, I don't want to say color, but it has like a color type thing with the druid symbol mm -hmm. on it. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yep. Got but... a sweet horse choker on it. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, probably not the way I'd put it, but. She sees all of you and goes, uh, hi, can I help y'all? Uh, hello, we're looking for a, uh, a... Lemur? Lemma? Lemur? That would Lemur. be me. Oh, wonderful. Ianara sent us. Ah, uh, how is Fia? Heard she got kicked out of the city. Not very far. <laughs> well, no. Of course not. Almost stones throw away. She seems... stubborn. Most Pathfinders are. Yeah. Most elves, from my experience as well. Well, stubbornness <laughs> kind of comes to the territory. Just sort of let that one slide. Long ages, all that other thing. But, what can I do for all you? Uh, apparently, we need a pass to walk through the woods now. You do need a pass? What do you need the pass for? Uh, we want to go artifact hunting. The Fallen. Fallen may have taken something that you would probably want back. As you say that, she turns to her horse, and her horse turns to her, and they kind of just share this look for a couple of moments before she ushers Why, you. Long face. God. Before she ushers you into a side room, and closes the door. So, Fia told you about that then. With the horse or without the horse? With the horse. Okay. She goes everywhere. Not a horse. Horse. Didn't you know? <laughs> this absolutely cramped elevator room. Yeah, right? <laughs> I look at the horse knowingly and ask it if it also has a chitty. The horse does not respond to you. Oh, okay. So, Fia told you about the artifact then. Correct. Just that it was missing, not what it was or anything else. Tell you what, Pathfinder Society put their nose in things, they never get it out again, do they? Well, that's it. But, you know, Maybe it sounds like it was something that you wanted back, and... Look, we like rewards. Just gonna shrug. We don't allow them in most of Kionin. Yeah, I did hear that. Pretty sure we don't have a lodge here in the city either. But, look, what she said is true. We are missing an artifact. <laughs> what one? Uh, we call it the Shade Wither Key. Okay. Neat. That's edge lordy. Now, I'm not going to tell you anything more. Edgy. In that regard, it looks kind of like a leaf. Feels bad to the touch. Looks like a leaf bad to the touch. Is it going to do us any harm if we were to touch it? Um, she looks to you and her and goes, you should be fine. Okay. I think it's in the name Shade Wither. Oh. Yeah, hmm. there. Yeah. So it will be under something. Or something to that regard. Like I said, I'm, I feel disinclined to give you too much information about it. But yes, Bullen did in fact steal it. Um, look, if you could bring it back here, we'd appreciate it. Uh, we know Bullen's hold up somewhere in the woods. We have sent people out to find him, but they seem unwilling to bring him back. And I'm not 100% sure I can trust my own people. Hey, Matt. Hey, yeah. With my nature check, is there a connection between this artifact and the Shade Fae? Uh, potentially. Hmm. 
what I will tell you from your nature check is the fact that it's called a key and you're in the city of seven arches with the gateways you get the feeling that there is something of an association there hmm. maybe that's why he took them yeah so this yeah. key yeah <laughs> which arch does it open well as far as we're aware uh, the arches don't open. Mm-hmm. The arches in seven arches haven't opened in a very long time. I didn't ask that question, though, did I? No, but I've still answered a question, haven't I? Mm. Well, You're not wrong. the one he asked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, to be fair... The weather is nice out. I answered your question there. <laughs> well, of course, I know what the weather is. I'm a druid. Sure you do. Boss, look, if you can bring back the key... You will give us a reward? I suppose I can give you a reward. At, it'll be at the very least. I can also tell you what I know about the missing moment as well. Mm. Would you like us to try to apprehend Bolin? Don't get the feeling he's going to be coming quietly, but if he can, that would be preferable. Um, when did and the Bolin his steal his followers? Key? Sorry, the Beliana? Uh, go on. Uh, when did Bolin steal this key? It's only been about a week. Hmm. It hasn't been too long. It's just we are already spread thin. And with everything happening with the Oubliette curse gone and political tensions are starting to rise, we don't know if the curse is going to come back. If it comes back and we have people from Kyan in here, it would be all, it would be a whole thing. And I have the bear breathing down my neck. Hey, I'd just like to pull you up on one little word there, Matt. What what was the name of the curse? Oubliette. Isn't that the castle toilet? No. Oubliette yeah. the hole, the forgotten hole. Forgotten hole, yeah. Yeah, isn't that the castle toilet? No. The Obnubliat. I will put it in the chat. Please do. Uh, uh, my right, my note-taking is uh, gone here. There we go. Okay, that's not Oubliat. Also, I feel like this is not the first time they've used that in an adventure path. Um, it has come up in a couple of first edition yeah. adventure paths. That's what I thought. It's also come up in a few uh, Pathfinder scenarios, which has been yeah. super awkward. So I'm, I'm just going to prepare you for this now, Matt. But interesting you say a week. <laughs> Object reading. <laughs> oh, as in you're going to use it on the key? Yeah, yeah. I'm preparing you ahead of time. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. With the with the spell object reading, yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna drop that on you. Damn. I mean, people have in the past. Oh, uh, in the future, I guarantee you will be eventually dropped on you, but <laughs> with warning, at a time. Now, I don't know particularly where Bolin is hiding. However, I can get you that pass. Wonderful. Wonderful. And if you want to look at the seven arches while you're there, I can't stop you. And you know, fair is fair. Mm -hmm. Well, she at least admitted to it. That's not speculation anymore. Mm -hmm. She That's writes it. out a chit for the four of you, four and a half of you, mm. and passes it over. Fantastic. You, you've been acting in good faith, and I thank you for that. We will try to bring back your runaway druid in a stable condition, and then I'm going to try and high-five the horse. Yeah, good plan. Uh, I'm going to keenly watch this development. The horse kind of headbutts your hand. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right, all right, all right. Finger um, gun the horse. Um... <sighs> As you finger gut it, he rears up a little bit, 
Mm. And kind That's of fair. Present, One of my fingers it, fell off. He kind of rears up a little bit and kind of clumps around. Lemur just kind of rolls her eyes and goes, yeah, cool. That's fine. And, uh, it's Bowden fine. has some, uh, like, stewards that he's sort of corrupted, you might say. Uh, what, what of them? Look, Bowden's always been an asshole. And he sure. only got worse when he came back through. Yeah. But he sounds like a, a, a charismatic person that, that may have led followers down the wrong path. Surely they're not at fault, are they? Or should we just deal with them as we see fit? Look, if you can bring them back, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. Everyone can be redeemed. But... I would hate to, like, get rid of someone who had the task this month or something, you know? No, that's fair. But, look, when it comes down to it, as a druid, we understand that sometimes a tree needs to be cut down. A weed needs to be pulled out. Sometimes... I personally don't plan on weeding hmm. any of you. Hmm. My point being that if something happens... I understand. I'm yeah, not going to pull always you. It's interesting to see how far things have fallen from Elvens. Anyway, I'm not going to pull you in front of a tribunal if something bad happens. Is my point. Um, to bring up on that, Felix, I think this city's more faux Elven than Elven at this point. I mean, oh, Elves definitely foes in here. Not oh, look, to. I'm one of like a handful of half elves and uh, not half elves, halflings in the city as well. So, look, this city has its issues. We'll put it that way. Right here then. Uh, off to the woods, everyone. Well, it was what lovely to meet you. is it? I'm um... sleepy. Sorry. Maybe sleepy. I don't know. What time is it? Uh, by this point, it's still only afternoon. Oh. Uh, okay. Look, the journey's going to take you a little while, especially if you're going all the way to the Seven Arches. Um, so you know where they are? Yeah, it's... My feet know the way. He knows the way. She gestures to the horse. And we you have... feel like coming with? The horse? Good you choice. may not have my horse. Thank you. Hmm. Touche. But if you need a carriage and some horses to pull it, I can probably arrange that for you. Hmm. Yes. It'd be better if they know the way themselves, then yeah. Hmm. They'll Maybe know the they pathways. Easy done. Right. Well, with that, we might take our 10-minute break. Good okay. plan. Um, also, sorry, Raiders. I was going to say hello and hi and all that other fun stuff. But, you know, I kind of don't like to interrupt the flow of the game. But welcome all in. Um, thank you, Aura Overseer, for bringing them all in. Uh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> hello. Um, but yes, we are currently... This is our premiere episode of Gatewalkers. A published AP for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Uh, players are investigating The Missing Moment, a interesting event that happened a couple of months back in which people walked into gates that had not been activated for a very long time and came out some point in the future changed and with no memory of the experiences they went through while on the other side of the gate. Ooh. But Thanks. we're going to take a short 10 minute break where we can stretch our legs, refresh coffees, all that other fun stuff. I'm going to be running a poll. Actually, everyone's pretty good on hero points. Yeah. But yeah. polls are fun. Polls are fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm probably going to run a commercial as well, just so Twitch stays off my back about the whole ads and commercials thing. Yeah. Otherwise, we shall be back in about 10 minutes, and I hope to see you there.
Hey everyone, and we are back! Sorry about that whole intermission thing, it's fine. We'll have the pull <laughs> results up in a little while. Look, I did so much preparation <laughs> into making but sure the not open... enough. <sighs> no, look, that's, that's how it goes. Yeah, no, you know, live media. Yeah, Nothing always, always go wrong. Yeah. It's how the cookie crumbles. But if that's what went wrong, so be it. Yeah. Fine. Glad that that go wrong than literally <laughs> anything else. Literally anything else. Like OBS just crashing randomly. Ugh. Don't jinx it. Yeah, no, I panicked. For, for a second there, I thought that was like a thing that just actually happened. And no. it was just like... <laughs> Apparently the latest update has looked into like the stability issues for it. So... There are some things that they can't do anything about, but otherwise... So, beginning the journey southwards towards the Seven Arches. The first question I have to ask is, who is in control of the wagon itself? I don't know. Who has the best skill? Who's that kind of, who's that kind of character? Who feels like their backstory implores them to do some uh, wagon... I had people to do this. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's the job for the help, is it? Mm -hmm. Goodness. Oh, yes, it is. What sort of check would we be looking at for this to determine? Uh, driving a wagon would be down to nature, because it's handling an animal, or mm -hmm. driving lore, surprisingly, because that is a thing. Driving lore. Yeah. I'm not used yeah. to dealing with the whole animal thing. Anyone else? How are we for nature? I think we're pretty good, aren't we? I, I'm, I'm trained, trained in nature. And Felix, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, I'll I take the reins. <laughs> I'll take the reins, but yeah. Felix... Uh, yeah. Whilst we're, on that one whilst we're going, can you can you read me a page from my book? Absolutely. Yay. Now, when I say the words just randomly left, right, and stop, that's not part of the book, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Noisy farmyard alligator. Okay. Bill! <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, there's actual. There's oh actually a story. Man, press the button so others can see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that it's an actual story. It's Compy's book. He hasn't gotten through it without falling asleep. But maybe while he's driving the wagon, he can stay awake. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. Just Matt done just closing it. We need to have that open so when Felix narrates it, the audience can follow along. <laughs> it when it says compostopher, is that where he's put in his own name or is that Yeah, like, that that's someone okay. has like scribbled out the name of the uh the protagonist uh, and written in compostopher over the top. Yeah? Alright. Oh, okay, you want me to go? No, no, no. No? No, we're good. We're oh, good. I was, I was actually so excited for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, because someone is at least trained and is at the reins of the wagon, it will stop. Yeah. You, I'm not going to make you roll for it. <gasps> Three-way tie! Oh my well, goodness! I mean, apparently decided <laughs> that Meliana and Antara would not win. <laughs> no. Felix Compulsive or Matt, just human real Matt. Are you sure Fantastic. I'm real? Are you sure? Questionable. Only yeah. every other day. I don't have third party perspective to back that up, so I don't know. Right. I've never met you. You you all could be fake. Mm. It's true. Probably tr it's probably true. Until I work on that assumption. Yeah, until just... proven otherwise. Figments of your imagination. Or am I the fake one? 
There is no spirit. So we are wagoning our way south. Uh, are we pursuing a lead? You are, in fact, pursuing a lead. If people cool, want to give me perception little... checks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got this so good. Oh, I got a. Ding. Ooh. Rat rail. <laughs> oh, we're re-rolling that one? There we go. <laughs> listen. listen. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Felix is reading. Yeah. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah. <laughs> and Tara. Uh, it'll be you that actually sees the shapes moving in the underbrush. Oh, just like home. Off the road, you seem to be getting stalked by a pair of creatures. The others can't see them yet. But they do seem poised to attack. <clears throat> mm. I'm gonna reflexively draw my weapon. Draw your weapon. Are we? Are we in a like a just an open-topped wagon? So like just a ute bed being pulled by horses, or are we in like? like oh. a, have we got like a carriage with like? like an no. internal area and we're sitting on top or no what, what's you got the deal you got the basic package you got the yeah bed. yeah cool all right which Ooh, actually Eliana definitely complained about when they first saw it. she's like i was promised a carriage <laughs> i mean it's technically a carriage <laughs> no it's a cart there's a difference carriage actually has the overhead it's part of the definition Felix. Which would be what Daliana says. <laughs> and I'll get an initiative from you, Valiana. Yeah, of course. As our two best boys will also be rolling in. Oh, wow. Hmm. Good yeah. boy. Best boys, indeed. Oh, I just rolled super well for both of them. Okay. Well, you rolled the same for both of them. Yeah, no, it different did. Different initiatives. <laughs> would be surprising. And with that, I don't like how I'm the closest to them. Yeah, no, they're gonna do it. We hear a slight popping sound echo through the forest as this creature leaps out from the Ooh. underbrush. Sweet baby boy. I mean, you say that. <clears throat> no, no, no. He just wants a pets. Ma'am, I am 38 years old. <laughs> <laughs> the sweetest little baby boy. Stop infantizing me. Please stop. I have a wife Man. and child. I have a <laughs> oh my god, a little smaller baby. My child is in his 20s. <laughs> and he is going to teleport to there. Oh, of course they can um... teleport. Could you not? Well, to be fair, it should be. That's quite true. I am much happier with this. I bet you are. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, I like yes, the idea that even if that was just like how that's meant to be, you would have grabbed Compostopher and put him there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But he is going to target you, Compostopher. Yep. And he's going to give you a bit of a bite. That's, wow. That's his funeral. 
Ooh. Ooh. Matt, could you Dear stop? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight out of the gate with collapse? All right. Yeah, I will be. Uh, it's like a fear response, right? I didn't even see it, uh, and then it tried to. He tried to grab my neck, uh, and I just sort of like my head rolled off onto the ground, uh, and I fell into pieces. Uh, so what is its maximum damage, not crit? Maximum damage, not crit. Yeah. That would be eight. I will take eight damage. That's at least how I read that. I think that's right. Uh, no, it's... It, uh, so what it is, is it oh, just okay. rolls, it rolls damage normally. So undo oh, okay. that, and I'll press yep, the, just the damage button. Yep. yep. There we go. So, okay, so it just negates the thing. Yep, easy. I'll take six. You take six? All right. Even better. Yeah. The reason why it says... I don't know why it goes into typically, because... Like, yeah, yeah it's, it's just it's got some, some hand fisted wording on that. I might re write that uh, just so that it's a bit more verbose and clear. Yeah, that's fine. Less verbose. <laughs> well, uh, uh, friends, we have a. Um, uh, I, I've come undone. <laughs> um, I, I think it just wants to say hi. Like yeah, right. We'll go. All right, the other one is going to teleport to there. Quick, Felix, save the book. I'm guessing that's not a manipulate action, is it? Uh, not when, not when it arrives. Hmm. Dang. And he's going to strike you. See, they're not always twenties. X to do. I mean, that's. <laughs> 23, so. And look, even minimum damage. Don't at me. Mm. That is the two puppies done as they chomp down upon you. Wonderful. Fucking. I'm gonna do a Zenith Star. A Zenith Star? Yeah. Let's square on this boy. Alright. I'm not sorry, Matt. Okie dokie. So, I, I believe... Yeah. That will be a success. So he will be dazzled so for be... one round. Yeah. Which, you That's know, is gonna suck for him. A little bit. Um... He recoils as you daze him with your Zenith Star. He stumbles back a little bit. Uh, very much um, not a creature who's happy with light like this. Yeah. Uh, so that's two actions, I believe? Yep, you have one remaining. I will raise my shield. All right. And that is my turn. Compostifer! Did we confirm that there's some sort of link between these dogs and the dude that we're looking for? Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. So these are somehow related and perhaps a clue in of themselves. Potentially. Hmm. Um. All right. Cool. Well, uh, I'm going to, I guess, get up uh, so that I'm not off guard anymore um and i want to like try and identify these further what what are we, what are we dealing with here what is this uh uh maybe like an arcana check or something what are what are these things weak to what what what's their dealio uh a nature check or an applicable yep. lore give you a nature check oh well, I was about to say plus one, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Um, <laughs> yep. And because I dropped everything, I will drop that and then I will again draw it. There we go. All right, that's me. That's you? All right, Veliano. 
Mm. Well, this is not the most fun. Okay, oh, so I'm going to look at the, the one down here. Yep. With a kind of a, no, good old resting bitch face. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know, you'll love it. I give it the evil eye. Oh, no. So how do you yeah. make eye contact with it? <laughs> well, luckily I don't have to make eye contact with it. No, you don't. He will fail. So, so yeah, he's second one. And his friend, the one that's dazzled, the condition of dazzled is, uh, is increased by one round. Ah. Hey. Like I said, that's why I was like, that's what you think. <laughs> So he will be dazzled for two rounds. Yeah, um... That's one action. Yeah, that is, that is. Um, you know, I'm on a cart. There's a bunch of other stuff going on. Um, oh, hey. I just moved him back. No, well, that's a, that was an important distinction. Because <laughs> he could do it from where he was before. Okay, I can leave him there if you like. It's one of those things that sucks, but it's like, at this point, I've done the action, so i uh Oh, for ongoing misery. Gotcha. Yep, yep. Yep. Sorry, I'm still learning my way around the new witches as well. Yeah. If you wanted, he can be on Felix, kind of helping, like, reading the story. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I nice. take it. Appropriate. Um, yeah, so with all, like, the car and Felix, you know... Cover seems like a thing, but no. Facebook? Mm. Love it. Yeah. But no. Oh. <laughs> you have two Just, hero uh, points. That's true. Uh, yeah. It, it's late enough that that can go down to one. See, and it pays oh. off. Nice. Damn. The target shall take double damage. Oh, now... that was actually pretty solid damage. It was. Hmm. Base bullet is a solid spell. Like a lot of people uh, are it like, is. Mm, but no, it's it's pretty solid for what it does. It ignores most cover. Like I, I like it just for ignoring cover. Although, mm -hmm. like a lot of people don't do cover as. I do. Damage. Yeah, you do, which makes yeah. it, which makes it worth it, right? Chef's yeah. kiss. What's that? You shoot. That's my else? three. That was your three. Felix. Facts. First action to pick up my great sword. Second action, strike a man. Here. That's better. Nice. Please. Damage. Oh. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> uh... Cool. Let's try that again. Minus five. That'll be a hit. I think with the minimum you'll take it out. Please more than <laughs> minimum. There you go. Solid damage. Perfect. Okay, that's me done. I know the blood spot there shows it as red, but as you kind of cut it, or do your final finishing blow upon it, it kind of fades out into sh wisps of shadow before it disappears. This one, who is currently unharmed, actually doesn't want to get closer to Antara. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. Um, so it's just going to strike you instead, Kapostomer. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? Let's do the fun thing. Mm. Yes. It's going to attempt to shadow by you. Whoa. Ow. So I need you to make a forward sheet save. Okay. 
Oh, I've done very poorly. Uh, I might, I might hero point that. You gotta hero point that uh, one. I feel that's yeah. Right. yeah. There we go. Like a, a failure, not a crit failure. Well, that will be a failure. So you will take. Uh oh, yep. Yeah, I see. It's um, sort of done some fun stuff. Yeah, uh, Nikki. Mm -hmm. Might want to use your reaction. Um, am I close enough to? Yeah. Uh, not oh, for your I... shield block, but your champion reaction. Uh. I can't find that right now. Sorry. That's uh, where. That one. Because if I click, ah, thank you. You're right. Um. Yeah. Do you want to okay, do that one? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Well, he's going to do the damage anyway. So, Kapostrover, you'll get back three of those hit points. Get back three. And he will be enfeebled too. Oof, very nice. Thank you. Sorry, that's where it is. I was looking at shield block. Yeah, that's it's okay. all the way down the bottom, normally. Ah, uh, look, the champion has a lot going on, especially when yeah, it comes yeah. to reactions. It will take you a couple of sessions to get into the swing of it properly. Sorry. But you're fine. No need to apologize. You know, every once in a while, one of us might just gently say, Hey, reaction. Thank <laughs> you. Go ham. Do your thing. That said, though, uh, the best part about Shadow Bite is it's not actually a strike. Yep, so you get to go again without map. Yeah. But people does it. matter here. Yeah, well, that's true. That'll be a miss, thanks to the Dazzled. Yay! And then he's going to try just again. a miss in general. And he misses that one because of the Enfeebled. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is, he's gone, and Tara. I will. Yeah, well, take a step. Take Jump a step. off the wagon. It recoils Jump off slightly. The wagon. Yeah. I... What kind of, uh, like, jump off the wagon does Antara do? Uh, she's like, no superhero landing. She's, she's a no. bit more practical. Yeah, so just, just like a one hand like... swap over the side sort of thing. Yeah, like shield yeah. down, clump. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. her. Uh, she's going to strike at him. All right. Nice. That's a hit. Very good. Oh, minimum. <laughs> of course. I mean, damage uh, is damage. So movement damage, and then I will raise my shield. All right. If I can figure out how to do that. Uh, if you click on Ray Shield. Where would I be looking for this? Sorry. I swear it's moved. Shield block. Mm -hmm. There it is. The oh, God. No. No. What? No, that's my it fault. I clicked from the wrong area. It should just Change. be under actions on your catch sheet. No. Oh. Releases note. Yeah. Uh, is it anything about? Is it not under actions? No, in actions it just has shield block strike. All right, it was I got literally this. hit before. You might so have to just you. add it. That's what I'm doing. It's Where been removed from our list. There you go. Yeah. Oh, thank you. There you go. Applied effect. There we go. Just because I'm a little bit faster in looking for it. Compost for it, it's your turn. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to attempt to devise a stratagem. Oh, <gasps> think, think. Zoom in. Think, think, think. Um, do, 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 do. Does a play effect roll the 20 for me? It sure does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Like, I don't know if I have any good options here, folks. Um, yeah. Well, so you still have three actions. Yeah, I might. Uh, it defies the stratagems one. 
Uh, to if this. it's part of the, uh, yeah, um, I think it's a, a free a free action. I think because yeah. it's like part of the clue thing or whatever. Yeah. If you are aware that the creature you choose is the subject of a lead you're pursuing, you can use this action as a free action. Nice. There we go. That's the one. Um, I'll whip up a uh, quick healy potion. Yep. Uh, and down that. Um, I think I still have an action left. I'll uh, jump down off the cart and move around to who's next here. Fair enough. I think me. Yeah. Getting into position. Easy done. Veliana. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> well, you've been hurting my friends. Stop that. You get him, boss. <laughs> Maybe next level, Dalnax. Maybe next level. <laughs> yeah, so it needs to make me... Also, the enfeebled one round longer as with the Dazzle. Nice. Doesn't get sickened, though. But the conditions remain, which is probably yeah, the which is part. <laughs> yeah, no. you're not gonna like this combo. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. I have had to suffer for the uh, fighter rogue combo at high oh, levels. Oh yeah. What's that? We get three attacks on a, on a singular reaction. Okay. <laughs> what you doing with the rest of your actions, though, Veliana? I don't really have much options at this point. Look, I got a lot first, of utility spells. Your first level. Yeah, it's also like I said, I, I've built a lot of utility. Oh. Yeah, that's me. All right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Felix. Felix will step into the most optimal place for what Compostifer has set up, which is. There. Here, perhaps? Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Take the high ground. We're a combo line. the hitting. Yeah. There's the high ground. This is gonna suck for him. Oh, actually, not bad. Yeah, no, no, it's too much. It's fun. You have one action remaining. Yes, I certainly do. I'm, you're hitting solidly, though. I am. Fighter gotta do. Nice. Okay, so that was a good roll, but it's still gonna feel bad at some level, doesn't it? It does, it's yes. Fun. Yeah. And with hey. that, congratulations, players. Yeah, success music. <laughs> <laughs> You have completed your first combat encounter. <gasps> All right. We're, we're, we're level two now, right? No. <laughs> right? No. no. You will never be level two as far as I'm GM, though. No. You have some other things that you need to do first. Ah, uh, doing things the bane of my existence. So these things just like fade out into shadow, right? Boop. Boop. Yeah. Just like home. Just like home. Ugh. Well, uh, hmm. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Oh, just peachy. And I think I got some of your compost on me. Kind of kicks her shoe a bit. Yep. Oh, sorry about that. Just sort of put it back in like where 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 kidneys would normally go. Thanks. Yeah. And then press the digitation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was unexpected, but I guess... Hmm... Yeah... Oh well... Uh... 
how's the horse? Uh, the horse seems fine. Okay. Just like, very good. yeah, this is an average Climb Sunday, bud. Yeah. yeah. Like... Oh, look, well, Druid, Druid trained horses are a different, are a whole different thing. Mm hmm. Speaking Should of... we, uh, press on, folks? Yay, we got horse. Look at it. It's amazing. Because I'm I not giving you a war horse. That's fine. Oh, come on. I, mean, I thought these druid trained horses were supposed to be. <gasps> this is. I mean, this is a horse named Chad. It is a horse named Chad, right. isn't it? It's it's a very Chadly horse. The other one is one we forgot to feed. <laughs> oh. That's the war horse token. Be fancy, boy. So original. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, do they actually have a? They do have a picture for the terror birds. Ah! Oh, um, that uh... is a crime. Yep. <laughs> I, I'm 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 unhappy with its weird forehead <laughs> it's, portion. It's it's axe head. And Man, that is I actually much prefer this one. Get, get the fuck away from these guys. Uh, that is a oh. a terror shrike or a dire terror bird. Mm -hmm. I'm oh. so glad they come in dire variety. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, every natural animal has a, a dire uh, form. Variant? Matt, yeah. dire horse, now. Whoa. I Just think make be that one bigger. <laughs> it doesn't have a token. Yeah, I, I would... Yeah, if if I was tossing out a dire horse, I would just use the war horse to uh stats, not gonna lie. Uh there is a dire sloth. Yeah. Yes. That's, That's just it. that <laughs> megaphone. It sounds like an oxen oxymoron, not gonna lie. Ate the avocados. <laughs> What's so dire about the sloth? Um of course they don't they used well. to like Oh kill... wait, no, it's a dire to itself. All right. As the dust kind of settles from the fight, though, I do need people to make another perception check. Uh, are we moving on? Do you want me to make a nature check for no, this moving is... rather than a, than a perception? Or yeah, okay, just a just perception. Delnex is the most perceptive. I can't take my eyes away from this book. It's illustrated. <laughs> Of course. You you really think they'd give Compost for anything but a picture book? Rated book, yeah. Really? Nope, gonna do that later. I was gonna pull in a wagon for everyone. That's fine though. Not so everything needs to be vehicle combat. It's not gonna Next be to it's gonna Everything gonna be needs to be vehicle combat. <laughs> You can hear it in his little voice. <laughs> <laughs> he worked so hard. I did work very hard on those rules, thank you very much. I honestly can't wait for them to be complete, not gonna lie. Because <laughs> there's no token for what it. What the fuck is that? They didn't do it. Like, that's they did that's beast, disappointing. They did that's beast the street best thing ever, what are you talking about? It's a chariot, not a wagon. Mm. No, 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 no. One second. Can, no, no, no. Can you bring that back in and put it right next to the horse, please? <laughs> yeah, nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> that looks like the the icon they use for for delivering little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not wrong. Um, if someone in chat wants to name the horse, they absolutely can as well. Yeah, that would be important. Yeah, Get please do. Or I do. But. As you're just all doing that, a thousand channel points. Yeah, it's a bargain. A bargain. <laughs> mm. Chad, I don't know. I this use that as a hero Marta point. Maxwell uh, gave the hero point to the horse, which we will not name. It. There we go. Not only is it named Chad, but it also has a hero point. I don't want that horse to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's still so honestly the, fair. The hero point to save its life. Yeah. Yeah. 
Chad's coming with us all the way. Better believe with that Chad's, Chad's gonna charge us into the final boss. Mm -hmm. Chad is the final boss. Yeah. I mean, I mean look yeah. at his nose. That's <laughs> Chad is rippling muscle. Goddamn ripped. <laughs> All right. Get his hair secrets off him and everything. Uh, this probably won't be surprising, but Antara and Dalinax, you'll be the ones that kind of spot this. As you're kind of looking out across the field, um, the others seem to be distracted by the horse. Um, <laughs> you will notice little minor tears in the air, as if the shadows kind of thicken a little bit for a couple of moments before going back to normal. Mm, like something might be jumping around, per se? More to the point, uh, this kind of appears to be some sort of seepage from the Shadow Plains. Mm -hmm. Matt, again, I'm sorry to interrupt. Can you zoom in on that horse's face? It's smiling. <laughs> Does it have, like, those eyelashes? No, that's a cow's face. <laughs> it is. Horses don't have that at the front. Huh. Yeah, that's a cow. There you go. Um. Never mind. Anyways, um. How, how does <laughs> Dalinex relay this information to us? Oh, my DGM. Well, first things first, and Tara. Uh, with your yeah. shadow plane check. Uh, I was uh, <laughs> trying to f see what I remembered from home, but I'm drawing blanks. It's all a bit shadowy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just thought of your parents and... <laughs> Just, uh, I don't want to go home, never mind. You do notice it, however. But for Dalinax with the natural 20. Uh, boss. Uh Yes. I, Stop, I, like, uh, filing the fingernails. I, I think that's the arches in the distance there, isn't it? I'll look over. Sure enough, a little bit further along into the wilderness, uh, well beyond these little tears of shadow in the air, you do see an arrangement of <coughs> stone archways. Hmm. Uh, it does appear to be that. And... Oh, the shadow. Uh, I'll do a recall knowledge on the uh, shadow. Things like uh, cultism? Uh, cult or arcana? Uh, the they're the same. Well, pick one then. Yeah, well, I was on it. Do it. Jeez. I was, I was on it! <laughs> uh, oh, okay. You really want to do well on this? I uh, were. That had one hero point. Left. It was. That's fun. It's I fine. like information. Well, you're just asking about the shadow plane in general, or no, those gates. Those not the, gates? not like the, the the like rifts. Asking about the rifts. Yeah, whatever the shadowy thing that we looked at. Whatever. Whatever is happening at the arches at the moment is causing some sort of temporal displacement. You get the feeling unless someone does something about these little tears that are happening in the air, they're just going to tear open into one massive area. Um, well, we should uh, hurry on and deal with whatever's causing these rifts. Because if they continue, things will get bad. Worse. Real bad. In order to get to the arches, you'll have to go through the area of tears. Yeah. Um. Oh, don't drive through that. I'm feeling a hazard. <laughs> a hazard? I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> Hazard, I barely know. Territory. Now, if you want to try to disable this hazard without rolling into combat, you can. But if you do fail on one of these checks, it will cause the hazard to fully trigger. Oof. And that is written into the actual sure. description for it. Fair. Uh, the check in question Ooh. will be Arcana. Uh, does Compost for one roll in nine eight or vice versa? Uh, look, I have read a lot about magic, but I don't really know how to do the magic. I just like the names. They're very eccentric. That will they help are. you. <clears throat> Compostifer, the magic has been inside you all along. <laughs> that was an aid? Yep. Well... <laughs> uh, Veliana, you'll be getting a plus two. That's what I said before I rolled, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it? <sighs> All right. So, Compostifer will start, you know, letting you know, kind of giving his aid, like advice, suggestions, that kind of thing. And as you start to kind of work the magic, Veliana, you'll get distracted by just how much Compostifer just knows about this. Oh, I also imagine that Compostifer is getting a bit too close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. does seem like that kind. Yeah. Yeah, Compostifer does not understand personal space at all. Um, kind of a closer. All right. So here's what I need. I need everyone to make a fortitude save. My favorite. <laughs> Now I roll high. <laughs> success. Success. Oh. Fort, fort, fort. Oh, poor Dalinex. I mean, it's just a fail. It's fine. Oh. All right. Those who have succeeded on the check, you are immune to the effects of this for the next 24 hours. Radical. For Compostifer, Dalinax, and Antara, you will take four force damage. Ow. Oh. Dalinax is still up! <laughs> oh, yeah! Nice. One HP and a goddamn dream, though. Alright, let's try that oh, Arcana body. check again. As the tears kind of pop open as you're trying to dispel them, or at least suppress them for now. Uh, you know what? Why don't you make the check and I help this time? It's all right. Very good. So I'm pretty sure it's you got to rotate at Widdishins of. Ooh. <laughs> I do not aid. <laughs> that will yeah. be a success. With that. Compostifer, uh, you managed to suppress this field. Uh, you can't permanently Me. disable it, though. Mm -hmm. You'll need to go to the source to do that. Look, it's probably not going to do anything for a little while, but we don't have long. We should probably move. That's a great idea. As I start to drag out players onto the new screen. New screen. Let's play the game if... Do I load in first? Or does chat load in first? <laughs> I think I'll be chat in this in particular instance. It's That's been chat every time so <laughs> thus far. Yeah. Ch Chat's got the home ground advantage. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, as you start to approach a little bit closer, you see a trio of druids. 
Um, I know the pictures there kind of show the oak stewards from back in town, but these ones are wearing kind of green leafy masks that obscure mm -hmm. most of their faces. They Would you say that they're like slightly edge lordy masks? Slightly, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Now, are these skin saw mask edgy or just <laughs> edgy? <laughs> No, is there a reason they're wearing masks deep in the forest? Uh, yeah. COVID restrictions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? Well, they're outside and they're... <laughs> so they're social distancing. Each other. But it, but yeah, it, they're, it they're, is... they're more than six feet apart. <laughs> By definition, a druid is almost always social distancing. Yeah. But you see, the, the thing here is, though... Uh, because of the amount, uh, so there's three of them, but the large creatures counts as four, so they're going above the <laughs> restriction of five that oh, was God. required with the curse. Anyway, these three druids appear to be performing some sort of ritual. Restrained upon a wooden altar is a unicorn. It seems to oh. be trying to thrash against its bonds, but can't That's really escape. Huge. That is one long <laughs> asshole. It is really long. Guys, I don't mean to like concern everyone, but it's got the same kind of veins as our doctor. Oh. Do you think they're related? Oh. For a closer look. It doesn't look like it's doing so great. Same eyes too. Uh, it is still alive and very much kicking. But it is does seem to be distressed. I uh, the length of that horn just concerns me. I don't. I don't think that this is a good thing that they're doing. Uh, I thought druids were to protect. Oh, there's evil ones too. I just saw the amount of damage that horn does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It has built-in ghost touch. Uh, uh, you want to maybe release that? Unicorn? Like now? The druids kind of turn to see you and they're like, <gasps> We've been caught! No! You haven't. Totally not. We're just... Um... Like, I, I, I had something and it was on the like tip now? of the tongue, but... Yeah, no. Boop. I, oh. saw, I saw people inching closer. I will get everyone to roll initiative. Me talking with my hands, not being able to inch them one step closer. Can I roll deception because I was being a sassy as fuck? Yes, you can <laughs> roll deception if you like. It's like double my uh, my uh, <laughs> perception, so. These druids forgot the seasoning, God. <sighs> Chat's been unhinged. Yeah. Yeah. I miss them so much. <laughs> 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 All right. The unicorn as per the rules for this encounter, is just going to spend its first round thrashing against its bones, trying to get itself mm -hmm. loose from the ropes. Baby. And Tara. Yeah. These druids seem aggressive. They're going to be attacking. Oh, God. Uh, Good point. Can I attempt a... Hawk downy diplomacy type. Nah, they're like you can see that their hands are kind of slowly morphing into like bear claws and tiger claws and things. Oh, yeah, just okay. Up. I'm gonna put you down then. I mean, not put you down, but like so, move. Yep. Had to lay her down. All right. Boop. Oof. That's a hit. Just a little. Good damage, too. Just like, you're gonna release that unicorn. Uh, move damage, raise shield. No. End of turn. We need the unicorn for the ritual. 
Do not let them release it. This it's one. Horn dog horse. Oh. No, no, no. The thing is, that's. There's no cross out in <laughs> Twitch, so I was like, oh, I gotta just imply it. A lot of people know Discord <sighs> Markdown. It's fine. <laughs> Discord Markdown? Yeah. Um, you're pretty far away, so... I do love to see standardized costers. Like, this isn't okay. a named wizard, this is just some guy. As he shoots you with a ray of frost. Woo! I see. Yeah. I beg to differ. Minty. Yeah, minty, minty fresh. <laughs> Flavor you can see. Ted? Yeah, Ted yeah. He's now a named wizard. <laughs> Ted well, the wizard. Probably. I will have to up his spell level now then. Is that Ted uh, or is is Ted the unicorn? Oh, that's a good question. No. Mm. Ted is the unicorn. Chat, we oh. need some uh, clarification on that. <laughs> no, that's me. Oh, right. Sorry. Yep. Ted is the unicorn. <laughs> I like Ted. We'll save you, Ted. Bill is the wizard. Yeah. Phil. <laughs> God. Hey, so Phil. 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 Parents can't spell. Ugh. Best friend of Opara. <laughs> <laughs> Opara? Oh. Opara. Since when were we in Taldor? Mm hmm. All right. Um, for his final action, for Phil's final action, hmm. He wants you to step up a little bit. Whereas this one, right with you, Antara. Mm. You are going to see his hands transform oh. into claws as he drops Not his close. staff. Up close and personal. And then he's going to detect it with his claw. Ouch. Oh. Sh shield, do a shield. You do have the yeah. shield. Here. Yeah, I will. Uh... Mm hmm. How do I trigger that? Like this? Uh, if you press the block button on the damage. Aha. Uh -huh. And then you hit damage afterwards, it'll do it automatically for you. Perfect. Nice. Unscathed. The claws rake against your shield. You may have to fix the scratch damage later on. Oh, I fully intend to. Uh, it'll buff out. Um, this one's gonna do the same, actually. Uh, ooh, actually. Actually? Mm. Actually. Well, actually. That's a different show. <laughs> I'm going to make things difficult for myself, and he's going to cast Shillelagh. Shillelagh. Such a fun mouthfeel. Shillelagh. <laughs> Been so tempted to play a druid just for that spell, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's like so thing. worth it. Um, so in an upcoming book, I'm writing up a circle of druids or an order of druids, and they're more combat focused. Uh -huh. And they just beat people to death with clubs. Yeah, no, like there's a strong focus yeah. on Shillelagh. Um, oh. and for We're his going function, out clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go clubbing with baby seals. To be clear, as oh. animal companions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. No, I'm Canadian. You got hmm, it, Compulsive 
I'm wondering if I should go for this guy. He looks kind of injured, or I could make a break and get to get to Ted. I think I'm doing it. I'm going for Ted. Yeah, release Ted. Gonna go for Ted. Is, is Ted I got these guys. physically restrained, or is it? Does it look magically restrained? Oh, oh, that's a good question. Ropes. Okay. They're they're yeah, like they ropes and chains. Yep. Oh. All right. Uh, scuttle on over to here uh, and try and unbound the creature. Now, you have two choices here with your final action. Uh, yeah. You can either use athletics or you can make a strike against the ropes. Hmm. I don't have a weapon drawn. Uh, I'm using athletics, athletics? I guess. All right. Uh, uh, roll. Ah, oh, it's terrible. I'm gonna use my hero point because I feel like this is a heroic thing I'm doing. I feel it's it not is. much Only better. slightly more. <laughs> On the red side, you can now go buy stuff at the corner store. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, that will not be enough. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, that's you done. Yeah. Veliana. Hmm. Already. You could do a yeah. wizard duel right now. Wizard duel. No, I can't. I do not qualify. For I am more of a witch. Well, they're <laughs> not wizards either. <laughs> but Off brand uh, wizard duel. I was <laughs> gonna say magic duel, but that works too. We have wizard duel at home. <laughs> 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 what you doing, Valiana? Well, um, oh, all right. Let's see distance. Already, Phil, Phil, you're good. You're good. Okay, so this guy. I love that he's just kind of exploding like in that. like cherry blossoms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little just, just, just a uh, show off. Just, just a squint. You know, he's showing know off. off. And I am not having it. That's how his Although, shit lately expresses itself. Evil eye. Yeah. I don't really have much other stuff going on for one actions. At this point. That would be a failure. Oh. Interesting. Ooh. He rolled poorly. That, obviously, I was not expecting that. But I that was why I cast it to begin with. I was uh, the off um, chance. Man. Yeah, the off chance. All right. Phase bolt. That's my only damaging spell. <laughs> uh, wait, no. Glass shield is also damaging, but technically. That's a hit. Him. Yeah. Delnax is uh, staying back. He's a little not doing well. Oh, I should have healed him earlier. It is something that we'll all get used to. Don't worry about it. Felix! Yeah. Hello. What you gotta do, Felix? Um, we're here to talk to you about your. Uh, cultural appropriation issues. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny coming from you. This is called Vicious Swing. Hold three fours. Yeah. All damage can do it, though. Yeah, it does it. And Tara, you're no longer flanked. Yay. The mighty Ted. Now, as for Ted, our unicorn, uh, seeing you approach him, Compostifer, he starts yeah. to freak the fuck out. Ah, uh, dang it. So uh -oh. he's gonna... I mean, have you seen Compostifer? He's gonna that guy do... ran at you? He's gonna do a little will save. Well... Uh -oh. Yeah, he rolled a one. 
How do you okay. feel about undead things approaching them? So Ted's gonna just take a quick swipe at you, Compostifer, oh. with these horn. Oh, well, that's not gonna go well. Compostifer should have approached with uh, <laughs> with his certificate out. Yeah. Oh. Back to back ones. How about that? We take it. Well, we take it. That's that's fine by me. I have no complaints. No further notes. <laughs> Otherwise, he's gonna try to flex himself out. You can do it, baby. No, it's you not cannot do it, baby. And Tara, you have two druids remaining. Yeah. What of them? Bill is looking very yep. nervous. Hmm. <laughs> Despite being unharmed. Look over my shoulder at the whole Compy unicorn thing and be like, "You got this, Compy, a compostifer." Sorry, force of habit. Uh, just imagine no, you I'll cheering just, at her, um, Compy. Yeah, I used to. Not gonna lie. Um, well, this guy's still here, so I shall indeed smack him. I shall indeed probably not smack him. Uh, now, we'll give that another go. You gonna give it another go? Oh, sorry, you were saying? No, just go for it. Yep. Oh. Who earns? Just not the day. Yeah, his stuff is like exploding with cherry blossoms right now. It's, it's a little bit it's distracting. It's distracting. Yeah. <laughs> it's very ostentatious. And that's me. Phil wouldn't be caught dead doing that. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Phil is considering his options right now. What are you thinking, Phil? Step up, Phil. Oh, magic missile to the face. That's the opposite of stepping up, Phil. Oh, you're a coward. <laughs> Pussy. Not too far. Not not too far. Thought you druids were supposed to be tough. And he's gonna hit uh. you with a ray of frost. Look, it's yeah. got a hundred and twenty foot range on it. Yeah, that yeah. tracks. Um, no, he's not. Actually, I got a I got a villain point. I'm gonna spend it before I lose it. Yeah, good point. <laughs> See. Even the GM is not immune to this. Ooh. And that will be Phil done. He is gone. This one with the shillelagh. Buddy. Now, what's a bet he misses? Uh, hopefully. Hi. Because that would be hilarious. <laughs> Crit, Ooh, miss, oh. Crit miss, eh? His own cherry blossoms just mm -hmm. right in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Minus you should five. Save the villain point for that. Perhaps. <laughs> Look, these guys are basic druids. They don't have a one action spell. Yeah, I didn't think so. <sighs> you got your shield raised for one thing. Yeah. Compostifer! Alright. Let's uh let's try and think about this smartly and do a do a smart thing. But we might not. Uh what does that error message say? Target token uh okay, sorry. Uh I guess I'm targeting that because I'm targeting the ropes. Ooh. Excellent. Ooh. Uh I'm going to um, up and think about it. I gotta like oosa and try and like calm the uh calm the unicorn down. I'm gonna take out my uh war razor <laughs> and like show it to it. Like I'm opening it up and I'm, I'm holding the rope. Uh this is how I'm it. gonna cut you. 
you want a nature <laughs> check to try and yes i absolutely need yep. a nature check yeah <laughs> uh. Oh, oh no! Gonna you. <laughs> it's all right. Literally, uh, look at the but, thing that's gonna yeah. hurt. That's fine. Uh, I will attempt to cut the ropes. Now, this is a strike roll. If you're using your device yep. as stratagem, it will hit. Yep. Um, yep. yep. And this isn't a case of doing damage. You'll you will cut through the ropes. Excellent. I will do that. All right. And Ted has been freed. Hey. Can't help but notice that horn would go almost all the way through Compostifer. A whole way. Could all go almost <laughs> go back again. You know what? That horn could impale all of us and still have enough room for an additional for the all the druids. <laughs> all we right. will be a kebab party kebab? Veliana. Tis me, Veliana. Tis you. Our shillelagh uh, druid seems pretty, um, pretty badly injured, but intent on the fight. Yeah, uh, I sustain. Yep. So if he tries to ratch, he can't get rid of it. <laughs> That's what he should have done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but he would have found out real quick that it cannot be reduced. Oh, no. But he doesn't know it yet. Um, but yeah, so, um... My... And then, so, first action is sustain, and then phase bolt. Phase bolt? I can't wait till I got oh, some actual more damaging capabilities. You have one action remaining? No. You have to do one action one? sustain. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Sustain. Well then. Felix. Just double checking something. One action, two actions. <laughs> yep. Three actions. You got this. Wow. Very nice. You definitely got this. I only kind of got this. Could have been better. It's all right. Ted's on his way. Oh, wow, turns out I got this. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Oh, rip Phil. Poor Phil. Yeah, they Good don't have a Um, yeah, Felix, that's you done? Yeah, that's me done. All right. Ted. Ted's going to do a will save. <laughs> Points to the last oak, dude. Oh, wait, I was on the wrong person. Let's try that again. Not much better. Ted. That might be enough. Ted, now released, uh, will not target the Oak Warden. Uh oh. But will simply charge off into the forest. Yeah, that's fair. Bye, Ted. Get out of here, buddy. Well, that was anticlimactic. I think that this Ted would have at least stopped to thank us. <laughs> and Tara, mm. it is your turn. Is there any chance that I can talk this guy down? Give me a diplomacy check. Wonderful. Uh, let me... Give me a hot second, there we go. Listen, buddy. You just need to... 
I believe Give you have, up. I believe you have yep, a hero no. point left. Do I? You do? Yes. Uh... I do not, apparently. Doop. I do. Apparently. Oh. Oh. Very okay. much. Okay. So. Well. <laughs> there we go. Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. You're not beyond redemption. Just lay down your weapons. Don't fight anymore. We got this. Yay! He <sighs> throws down his star. As soon as he does, the shillelagh effect ends. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Can I bind him with some rope or something? He allows himself to be bound pretty easily. And he goes, Under the I altar. Did, I did not <laughs> sign up to sacrifice unicorns. Okay, so this was kind of against your will? <laughs> That's what someone who was, yeah, but telling us predicament would say. Look, sacrificing unicorns. What the fuck? Bolin said it was for the greater good. Where's Bolin? What? What? And if Bolin told you to jump off a cliff, I'm sure you'd do that too. Listen, Look, I'm not gonna... guys. This guy is probably just led astray. There's led astray, and then there's being willfully ignorant. No, look, thank you, Felix. I'm. I'll be honest with you guys. Um. I pro if he asked me to, I probably would. But it seems like a pretty bad r idea right now. Listen, listen. I... Consider this. Just maybe being a druid's not for you. Why don't you just go back home and start a nice garden? Or no one can did... tell you what to do in a garden. I mean, I could still be a druid then. He could return yeah. to the actual oak and... Crap, oak what are they called? There we go. He could return yeah, to the actual garden. oak stewards. I'm, I'm sure they're perfectly fine with attempting to sacrifice uh, unicorns being complicit in the theft of an artifact. Yeah, I'm sure. People can change. No, look, it's just... Your Bolin asks you to do things, and you know, it just seems like a really good idea. Okay, well, that's a but then, more concerning then that issue. ends up with you sacrificing unicorns, just, just so you're aware. Uh, that seems like a bad idea. Um, uh, he replies back and he goes, y Well, yeah, no, now it's a bad idea. It didn't seem like one at the time. Well, did you want to at least give a respectful burial to Phil and the other guy? We, I mean, it's the least we can do. Hmm. But, hey, I don't think I can face down Bolin myself. But oh, you're not. I, I'll lead you to him, or at least to his camp. Oh, we wouldn't trust you to be included in that fight anyways. You, yeah, you should probably go back, talk with Lemar, mm. plead for forgiveness. We'll take sure. that direction. Her horse is very forgiving. Yeah, no, her horse is Mulberry is actually very forgiving compared to her. Uh, um, Mulberry. Mulberry is good. Shadow ghost dogs in the woods, so be careful on the way back. I don't know. Or don't. I mean they don't they don't usually bother us. Oh, well, lucky you. With all that said, I am going to end the session there. Whatever ritual yeah. they were performing yeah. here, uh, they seemed intent to reopen the arches, or at least one of them. Mm -hmm. But we appear to have flaunted it, right? Absolutely. Woo! Huzzah! 
Good for all you. You did great. Yay. Victory. I would like to have known what happens when the pointy horse dies. <laughs> uh, there is actually a, um, there's a thing here if you actually attack the whole unicorn. It does not go down well. I bet. Yeah, Poor Ted. Oh, I'm quite certain that Ted is supposed to be sacrificed here to the Dark Gods. Um, because this is the evil campaign, right? <laughs> well, with all that said, like I said, we'll finish the the. I was about to say campaign there. That would be bad. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, that was thank you amazing. everyone for joining yeah. us. For uh, that was Gate the Orders. Evil campaign. <laughs> yeah, Bolin <laughs> knows everything that happened. Actually, Bolin did the he did uh, the, the thing. Yeah, he did the thing. It was his fault, uh, and he just confesses and then undoes it all. And in hey, fact, Bolin was, was actually the unicorn. <laughs> Bolin is in fact the unicorn, by the way. It was a huge <laughs> twist. Uh, there you go. Yep. Yep. And then we walked through a gate. <laughs> Roll credits. Moon walked backwards through a gate. And then walked backwards, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, how you classic. get your memories back. With our yeah, heroes yeah, having saved a unicorn and begun to their investigation into the goings-on in Seven Arches, it seems like the druids here are not as um at one with nature as things might appear. But... Mm. What deeper things lay before them, you will have to wait until next week where we'll be continuing in Gatewalkers for Pathfinder 2nd Edition, presented by Tabletop Obscura, powered by Foundry VTT, with music by Marco Gelfi. Uh, the VOD for this will be up within the next couple of days or something like that. I'm going to try to rush it as quickly as possible because this is a premiere mm -hmm. episode and they tend to do better on YouTube for obvious reasons. Yeah. If you are uh, stopping by on the VOD or here on the stream for the first time, because uh, this is the premiere episode, uh, maybe, and you want to see more, uh, subscribe, follow, like, do all those things. Uh, and then you, you know, you can... Uh, all the call to action. There's, there's, more, uh, there's yeah. a plethora of content on uh, the YouTube. Oh, absolutely. It's just hours what? upon hours. Well, They're yeah, all fantastic. There's, what, five campaigns done now? Something like that. Mm, I'm sorry yeah. to lose count. Uh, what does it mean? Maybe it's good sign? Troubles. It was Troubles Menacing Atari. Agents of Edgewatch. Edgewatch. Outlaws of Arkansas. Abomination Vaults. And then you're going through. Hoist the Colors. Yeah, so hoist the Colors. Yep. So this will be the sixth. This will be sixth the sixth. Campaign. And I'm going to be starting a seventh one soon. Ish. Fantastic. Oh. Like, it's. Fine. it's yeah. As soon as Russ hands the supplied. Well, you could ever want and more. Right. Though I'm not sure what I'm going to do after Hoist the Colors, but I think that's a decision for later on. Mm. But yeah. otherwise, we're probably going to raid Dan Jones. Who call? Uh, he is currently playing Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green. I believe he's on some sort of run to take no damage whatsoever. Oh, wow. yeah. oh. oh. So that's that's suitably unhinged for the kind of playthroughs he does of games. Really? Is that even possible? <laughs> well, <laughs> look, uh, we'll look. find out. <laughs> it could be a short run. <laughs> if anyone is capable of doing it, I have seen him do some pretty unhinged runs, especially during the um, speedrunning season. But all that said. I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good week, no matter where you are in the world. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all the Raiders from Or Overseer. It was great to have you all in here. Uh, we're going to yeah. be raiding into, because I'm Dan Jones. Be sure to say hi and hello and all that other fun stuff. But otherwise, remember, as always, we're the storytellers. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.